Well, hello, hello there, and welcome back to the Forgotten City. Quick recap, we got three plaques uh, for the obelisk. We completed a few more quests, and we still have a little bit to go. We made a lot of progress for sure. Maybe I can finish the game today or get a, a new ending. So, uh, let me show the quest I still have to do. I had to figure out how to get the galleries elected. And for that, I need to make Maleolos drop out. I need to stop Virgil's harassment from Rufius. Uh, again, drop Maleolos from the election. And then, if I need to find evidence linking Maleolos to the name Quintus. So, this is where I left it the other day, and I realized somewhere I found a note mentioning this, but I don't remember what I read. So, I think that's what I have to do. And then, finally, free, free the guy on the cage. I forgot his name to to get the last plaque salve friend mind telling me who you are and what you're doing with that bow on your back um yeah so for galerius we're gonna tell him oh, to save sounds... uh julia julia and then for fabia i will do it myself i'll go but one okay so I need to find uh, evidence to link uh, to, to link this stuff uh, also every loop I'm gonna try to get money in case I need to the 2000 denarius to save uh, Ulpius so you can get around 500 here with Desus you can get at least a thousand so that should be good okay now I don't remember what I found the note of Quintus but I'm going to so you got a bright lamp who cares Climb up here and read the notes. Thank you. Ouch. Let me let me search. Uh, maybe. Oh. Opus. Okay. Not this one. Not this one. I remember finding a note about mention, like with the name Quintus in it. Now, where was that note? That's a different story. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk to Malelos alright, uh, because I want to talk to him later when I find the note. Uh, there's also the issue with her wife or his wife. Uh, I don't know what to do either there. So we may need to find something else there. Okay, let me search for the nodes. Mm -hmm. Cannot steal, remember. Mm -hmm. Where was that note? I don't remember. Not that one. Ah. Was it on the house? Can I enter this house? How did I? Oh, I had to do the whole ball thing, right? Uh, I'm not sure if I can repeat that, to be honest. Hmm. A golden ball. Just like Apollo and Diana. Ah, 
note. Where was that note? I forgot. Now, I don't want to trigger the Fabia and Assassin thingy. Greetings and salutations. Because once you trigger that, you. And I go back to the whole Malelos thingy. So let's avoid that. Bro. I may even like, I don't know. Search it somewhere. I don't want to trigger the old piece thing either. The, that node has to be in one of the... In one of the missions. Like one of the... Either here... Which I think it was... How did I enter this? It was through the temple of... Uh, of the bow, but that door is closed. So maybe that means I have to do the quest from Desus. I cannot enter this. I don't know if you can get the, the, the key for that. Salve. Let's see. Hello there, friend. May I say that it? Um. Well, I'll take your word for it. But perhaps you'd be interested in selling it to me. I mean, it's not as if you have. Can I drop the ball so we do this again? Or maybe if I don't have the golden bow. I'm interested. Let's do 2000 this time. Oh, that. All right. Oh. Uh oh. Well, how do I know I can trust? Hmm. I suppose. Here's your must now. Oh, you can get 2000. Location of that bug. You idiot! Oh, the many shall okay, suffer so that is not allowed. for the sins of the one. <laughs> Scamming is not allowed, guys. But apparently you can't reason your way out of the room. That's so fucking stupid. The same action with different logic, I guess. <laughs> That's so stupid. Yeah, I think you can just stay in the middle of this building and just be good. I'm going to look where you find the Quintus note. Holy shit. Forgotten city. Quintus. Uh, um, Is there really no way to... It's not Quintus, Quintitius. Hmm. It's apparently you talk to the wife, but I have this dialogue option. Hmm. Hey, how the hell do you do this? What the hell? This doesn't make any sense. 
Um, Okay, so um, you go to Maleolus and you ask him, are you Quintus? He will deny it, say whatever you want. Okay. And then you go talk to the wife. And you say, can we talk? Why are you logging this room? How would you like some help getting back at Maleolus? I don't think I have that dialogue option though. Let me try this. Let's try that strat next uh, loop. So first we accuse Maleolos of being quenchers. He will say no. I thought I thought the right way was to find the note and having evidence that he is that person. Because I think that's possible actually. Yeah, this loop we're gonna save everyone. Um. Oh. Yulia. All right, let me. But how did? I'll go. Okay, Galerius, run! Go, go, go! I'm faster than you, brother. Oh. Yeah. Um. <sighs> I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but I'll give it a shot. Keep an eye out for Santella. Because I don't think I have that dialogue. What is the meaning of this? Oh, what? I cannot talk to him until Gal Galerius has finished his stuff? Maybe he's gonna be... Saying something about Julia or Ulpius because they work for him. What is the meaning of this? Mm, okay. Uh, yeah, I cannot run the game while I tab out. Mm. It's kind of weird though. Like this is such a weird of a uh, uh, dialogue some progress. Like usually so far until now in the game, I found it very natural the whole you discover this, you unlock a new dialogue option, you find evidence, and then you can uh, progress in the conversation. But this feels a bit tricky. It feels like I don't know. A bit video gamey. Yes. I don't know. What is the meaning of this? Because especially having found that note where it names Quintius Quintius. I was thinking uh That'll be the way, you know. Like here it says you are him. Or he some kind of evidence incriminating him or linking him to that previous uh, past because he, he changed his identity basically he, he moved to this place whatever right i mean uh, <clears throat> spoilers but yeah i cannot talk to him i wish i could wait can, i can do something i can't do this here Um, the, the weird thing is, this note says it's for the Egyptian plaque, which I already have, anyways.
because the dialogue option of uh yeah the whole thing of talking to him then going to his wife then going back to him that's kind of weird though what is the meaning of okay, this okay now i can talk Dimitrius to him. doesn't usually let anyone in here without okay so we have to say you are cringious it's gonna be like <gasps> My name is Marcus You and now we leave, right? That's quite all right. Yeah. I trust you could Let's see. Like I said, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think I will have the dialogue option for the wife, but maybe I unlocked it. By doing that thing, first conversation with him. I'm not supposed to be in here. Hey, can we talk? Talk? What business could you possibly have with me? No. Oh, there it is. Why are you locked in this room? My marital affairs are no concern of. So I didn't get this option. This is the first time I get this option. So are you telling me? Bro, I, al I always assumed she was crying and locked in this room because her husband, right? It's just obvious. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know, whatever. How would you like some help getting back at Malvelos? Hmm, an intriguing proposition. Go on. I don't think Malvelos is who he says he is. Hmm, perhaps you're not as silly as those clothes make you look. What makes you say that? Just a hunch. I was hoping we could figure out the true identity together. You know, I may have the very thing you're looking for. Some time ago, when he still cared for me, he wrote me a love mm. letter. Only, he used the wrong name. Now, addressing one's wife by the wrong name is not unheard of among philandering Romans. But in this case, the name he got wrong. So this was, was the trick own. all along. I confronted him about it, and he stammered through some incoherent response. I let it go eventually, and yet questions have mm. lingered in the back of my mind ever since. But wait a minute. Why exactly are you helping me? I want to force him to withdraw from the election. I just hate to see such beautiful woman treat so poorly. Um, I guess I will choose this one. Oh, aren't you charming? I'm quite sure my husband would see you with impotent rage if he overheard you say that. Ah. I love it. It seems our interests are aligned. I imagine knowing his true identity will give me the leverage I need to manage him appropriately. Oh, but shit. But first, I need you to do something for me. Sure. What do you want? I want you to bring me some Oh, wine. I got some wine. Just one small urn should do it. Oh, don't look at me like that. I know this must be hard for you to wrap your sweet little pleb head around. So what do you need me to spell out? Um... Um, I don't know. Should I tell something? Why do you want wine? What can you get it yourself? I don't have any questions. So you'll help me? Sure. As I'm wine right here. Thank you. Here's the letter. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad I look at the guide a little bit for the hint of the asking this wife the that dialogue option because I don't think by myself. I will find this. I will have been looking for that note I was mentioning before. So yeah. Now, perhaps yeah. you can tell me who Quinctius really is. According to his bounty letter from Emperor Nero, he's he's the person who started the fires in Rome last year. What? He's. Oh no, that's um quite a lot more serious than I imagined. I only wanted some leverage over him, not to destroy him. Well, give me that immediately. Nobody else must know. 
but from now on i'm going back to blind okay so i just needed that small hint so now we're good now i'm again i don't know what to do so i think i will hang into it sure you can have this one i can always get another copy hmm No, I'll keep it. What? No. You... You tricked me, you mendacious little Sturkus. Well... Hmm... You know, she's uh, depressed, she has one, she may be, be... She may be, like, a little bit drunk. She's not that... Uh, right in the mind, for... Uh, at least now, <laughs> so... <laughs> I'll be going now. I don't need to discuss. I curse you. I curse your life and mind mm -hmm, and memory. Mm -hmm. May you be unable to walk or eat or drink. May this drag you to the depths. This is outrageous. All right. Now we have the note. Hmm. Is there any option apart from showing it to him directly? Maybe to the assassin? No, the assassin is dead. Maybe to Sentius? Nah, I think the best option is just make him drop out, you know? You again? What is it? Mm, I want you to withdraw from the election. <laughs> Are you insane? You barge into my villa, uninvited, and then make outrageous demands? Why would I withdraw from an election I'm bound to win? Mmm... Oh! There you go, new dialogue. Because I know you're conscious. Your wife gave me your love letter and never wants to death. I... Uh, got sorry. him. It finally caught up with me. Yep. I suppose that makes you... What? Nah. One of Nero's assassins? <laughs> the Emperor sends his rares. <laughs> no, I'm not. Fortunately for you. So, you're not going to kill me? Nah. Not if you withdraw from the election immediately. I'll release everyone in debt bondage to you. Mm, I'm gonna go with this one for now. So much work for nothing. If I do it, you'll let me live? I will. Fine. Ruling this cesspit of a city would have been beneath me anyway. Lord. I'll have Domitius notify the priestess of my withdrawal. Oh. There. You got what you wanted. Now, please, leave my villa and never speak to me again. Okay. So now we need to convince Galerius, Galerius, sorry, sorry, to to present himself as a candidate. Um, let's see. Um, let me try talking to Rufus for the last time. Name's Rufius. Um, are you the one threatening Virgil? No idea what you're talking about. And I was you. Yes, so what? I'm going to ask you to stop threatening him. And why should I? Uh, Seems to me your agitation is a bigger threat than Virgil's personal affair. Oh, well, this one is new, so. Well, I wouldn't get so angry if he wasn't so. You know. Um, uh, why are you so angry? Are you uncomfortable with your feelings towards him? He likes him, so he's both threatening him and being a secret admirer. I guess secret, uh, secret, uh, fan. He just seems like a normal guy, keeping to himself. What's your problem? Ooh, this one is very passive, right? It's very like, eh. And then this one is like literally telling him he's also homosexual. So you know what? Fuck it. I don't like where you're going with this. Oh, I want to restart the low, please. 
before I make you. It must be difficult to be charmed between your faith and your desire. Face the truth, Rufus. I have no idea what you're talking about. Rufus, just come out of the closet, bro. Just come out of the closet. I think it's best if you don't ever talk to oh, me again. Mad. Well, that didn't work out. So... Ah, I didn't complete the quest. Oh, yeah. Damn it. Um... Mm -mm, let me see. Whatever. Um, where is Galerius? And now we also need to convince people to vote for him, right? <laughs> okay. Maybe he's uh, on his garden. He's. Well, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it the first try, but this is good for practicing, maybe for the next loop. I don't know. Salve again, friend. How is it possible? Um. No, oh, come on. Uh, hey, all right. Wait, 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 wait. How did I make it the uh, him uh, talk about the election thingy? I saw you and there I was. Anyway, I'm What do you need? Well, I've been trying to get this rare flower mm. from the rock spire in the middle of the lake. It's too steep to climb, so I hung a rope over the lake and made this pulley device, only I uh, couldn't quite summon the nerve to use it. Do you think you could use the device again and try to get that flower this, for me? I, I have been trying to get this for so long. Oh, thank you. It would help me a lot. Secret no admirer. Rush, just whenever you get a chance. I'll get right All into right. it. See you around. Okay. Get the flower. Now I landed on top of it mm, two or three times, but I always after the animation of dropping it just fells. So I don't know. The timing is kind of hard to be honest. Plus, if you miss, you have to do this whole walk around, and it's kind of annoying. Okay, let's get this right. First try. Oh, please. <gasps> well, <laughs> that worked. <laughs> Literally, first try. Let's go. I tried that at least 10 times. I was, uh, uh, hey, I got your flower, bro. It's you again. No. Uh, I have the flower you wanted. Brilliant! You did it! What? This is going to make her so happy. Equitia, I mean. Mm. Now I just have to figure out how to give it to her. What I really want to do is walk up to her, give her the flower, and confess I've been madly in love with her since the moment we met. But on the other hand, I can't shake the feeling that the consequences could be... terrible. Don't believe a word they tell you. What was that? What the hell was that? Was that my character talking or what was that? What did they say? Don't believe a word they tell you? No, that's fine. Uh, what's the worst that could happen? You mean aside from her execution? Lol. You see, Equitia is a Vestal Priestess, meaning she's taken a vow of chastity. The breaking of which would be an extremely serious affront to the gods and a capital offense. Even if she was just suspected of being unchaste, it could lead to her execution. Unchaste Vestals get buried alive. Oh, and I'd get flogged to death for good measure. But at the same time, she's just so kind and graceful. And I feel so much love for her that if I don't tell her, it'll burn a hole in my chest. I don't know what to do. What do you think? What would you do? Another dilemma. Yeah, politics, homosexuality, love, and all kind of uh, economics, money, greed, guilt, all kind of stuff, right? Um, I think you should tell her how you feel. Consequence be damned. I think you can admire her discreetly from afar. That's creepy. 
if you really love her, you need to get over her. I'm not, I'm not relationship counselor. Figure it out on your own. I don't know. Are they gonna do those? Uh, I mean, they cannot kill her, right? I don't know, unless that's allowed by this underworld. <laughs> Plato, Pluto, God, where? It seems so random. I don't know what makes sense anymore about the golden rule. Oh, I don't fucking know. Hmm. Fuck it. Hmm. Now that I hear you say that out loud, I hear how crazy it is. I think uh -huh. that maybe I need to be a bit more cautious. What I need is a go-between. Someone who can tell her how I feel and find out how she feels without risking mm, her life. I see. What do you say? Do you think you could help me one more time? All right. Wonderful. Now, all I need you to do is give her the flower and tell her it's from a secret admirer. Tell her I'll keep my distance and that I just want her to know nah. that she's loved. Thank you. That's not so. Come back as quick as you can and tell me what she says. Poor Galeris. I wanted to broke his heart here. Um. Don't believe a word they tell you. Oh, that was you. I see. Ulpius was walking around Galerius, and he said that. What else? I was like, what? what? A new face. Ave, and may Vesta watch over you. Don't believe. Someone wanted me to get <laughs> fucking Ulpius from. <laughs> so creepy, man. <laughs> He's walking between whisper. Don't believe anyone tells you. Yeah, someone wanted to give you this flower. It just happens to be my favorite, too. Who do I have to thank for this? I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to tell you it's from a secret mirror and that they will keep their distance. They just want you to know you're loved. I see. So, Lord. it's from Galerius, then? You know already? Of course I do. I think everyone in the city knows. That man is a wonderful human being. And my favorite All person in the world. The but he is the Yo, what the fuck? What a me? Admirer, you could imagine the way he looks at Look me. Look at this motherfucker. Dog eyes. Plus, he's been trying for weeks to get his hands on this flower. He went to so much effort, too. Suspending that rope above the lake. Oh. Inventing that bullet <laughs> device all on his own. He'd just stand there each morning, looking at the flower, trying to summon the courage to seize it. Oh my heart. So why should I tell him? Bro, <laughs> this is so awkward. Tell that adorable oak that my Vestal's vow of chastity ends once I turn 36. So if we ever make it out of here, and he doesn't mind waiting a few years, then tell him I love him too. Ah, I'm sure we'll be happy to hear that. I hope so. 36? Holy shit. See you again soon, I hope. Okay, you fucking bitch. What's a bombing? <laughs> okay, I, I hope after all these quests, I can do the <laughs> the election thing, you know. Maybe we actually had to do this first to make him win the election. What's on your mind? Thanks. What did she say? You knew it was from you. She asked me to tell you that once she turns 36, she's allowed to marry. Venus, that is the best news I've ever heard in my life. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You have no idea how happy you've made me. I wish there was something I could do to thank you properly, but I don't have much to offer you. All I can do is tell you where there's a secret stash of coins you might be interested in. I think I already know. In the rock tunnel near the stairs, there's a little doorway set into the rock. Inside, if you look carefully, you can see a chest. Unfortunately, one of those golden huntress statues is blocking the path. 
and I'm not game to move it. If you can figure out how to get past it, I reckon there might be a small fortune waiting for you. I hope that helps in some way. Mm hmm. Well, as much as I thought, it... Yeah. Have ever thought about running for a magistrate yourself? I've bounced the idea around once or twice, but from what I hear, Maliolus has the election stitched up. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. Maliolus withdrew from the election. There you go. He did? Oh, that was unexpected. I wonder what could have possessed him to do that. Well, hey. I guess it's time for me to step up then. Let's go. I'll let Equitia know I'll be running. All right. See you around. Okay, so. Figure out how to get Galerius elected. Now, I will need to make him popular among a majority of the vultures. Okay, time to persuade everyone. <laughs> um, so I'm guessing Horatius is going to vote for uh, Sentius, no matter what. And now Domitius, though, who, who are you going to vote for? What now? Who are you going to vote for? I'm not going. Oh. Whatever. I see. Okay, so Horatius and Domitius, which are the personal guards, right? Those are out of the question. Now, uh, Equitia doesn't vote. Just like Diana. So, who who are the people who vote here? For example, this guy. Greetings and salutations. Georgius. I'm Georgius. My friend. Okay, who are you going to vote for? Galerius. Did hey. You know he saved the life of my young friend Fabia. The man is a hero. Hey, there you go. But of course, I hope that. Uh. Oh. Ah, a new face. Salve. I hear we have you to thank for saving Julia's life. Yes. Who are you going to vote for? Well, Cynthia seems to know what he's doing. Mm. He's broken the golden Virgil. Ah, I, I think I need to do his quest, though. Anything I can do to change that? My vote isn't for sake. Nice. Ah, I need to do the, the quest. Damn it. Whatever's in that great temple. Hello there, friend. Uh... Well, I'll take... Time to scam this guy again. Now you're talking, I'm interested. Oh. All right. Oh. Wait, wait. Hmm. Here's your money. Now. Five thousand. Location of that. Uh, what? I can't. You promised a. What is this? What? Don't even <laughs> Wrecked. Um Shiny. I don't remember who votes. Okay, so it was Horatius, Domitius, Georges, Decius, uh Virgil. I don't know who's gonna win to be honest. It's gonna be like one, two, two for Centius. Um, and then one for Galerius. Does Opius vote? I don't remember. How do we get to the election? Can I trigger the election when I want? Best behavior, I trust. All weapons are to be tossed into the chasm. Magistrate's orders. To Hmm. Maybe I need to talk to Equitia to start the election. I need to do the Virgil's quest so he votes for Galerius. But I got five thousand, so GG. Uh, or maybe I had to talk to Sentius. I don't know. Let's talk to Equitia, I guess. I think you can. There's an option to to do that. Elections. 
It must be completed by dusk. It'll be between centi. Why do you? Can we start the lecture now? Who's allowed to vote? All of the male citizens who are willing and able to attend, unless they're running, of course. Hmm. That's just the way it's always been, I'm afraid. The it woman can vote. Me either. There are some women who can vote, vestal priestesses like myself. But in this case, given my role overseeing the election, I've decided to abstain. I can't allow the perception that I'm being anything but fair and independent. But if it's any consolation, there are other ways to influence the outcome of an election. Such as? By using whatever gifts the gods gave you. Nothing untoward, mm -hmm, of course. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can we start the election now? As I said, I'm planning to hold it before dusk, but I suppose I could hold it sooner, if there's a good reason. I just want to get it over and done with. Holding it early may prevent conflict between the voters. Hmm, yes. I have overheard some rather unpleasant arguments. The last thing we need here is additional mm -hmm, conflict. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very well. I'll get things started right away. There you go. Citizens! Be it careful who you trust. Let us meet to elect our magistrate. Election starting. Now, if Galerius wins, I can free this guy. Maybe I had to talk to him before. Uh, hello? Hello. Um. You like it, but, but, um, like, yeah. Okay. Bye bye. We made the deal now, so I'm I'm glad I did that before the elections. Yes. If maybe he was he was gonna get free, it's like no, I'm not gonna give it to you anyways if I'm, if I'm free. But now that we made the deal, that if he gets free. Will give it to me now it's different okay so let's see how this goes whoop is is gonna vote for galerius right because galerius save him and uh so it's gonna be one two i don't know who this guy's gonna vote for decius is gonna uh decide and i think sentius is gonna win to be honest I need to do the Virgil's quest because Virgil vote will change from two three to three two, you know. Yeah. And Rufius is gonna vote for Sentius too. Yeah. Citizens, One, we have a core eight body of voters gathered three. here to elect the city's magistrate. Well, it's fine. The candidates are Sextus Sentius Imperiosus and late nominee Gallus Galerius Pelva. Marcus Maliolus Gurgis withdrew his candidacy earlier today. As agreed, we shall dispense with ballots and candidates will abstain from voting. Let's make this quick. As I say your name, call your vote. I'll start with you, Horatius. Sentius, of course. Okay, one zero. Georgius. Galerius. One one. He saved the life of my dear friend Fabia. Dacius. Sentius. Two one. Virgil. Cynthia. Three one. Ulpius. Galerius. Three two. The man who saved my life. Rufius. Maliolus. Citizens, you have yeah. made Three, your two. decision. Like I said. Sextus Sentius Imperiosus. My fellow citizens, you've placed your trust in me once again, and you won't regret it. I vow oh. that each day henceforth oh. will be just like this one, and I will. Deliver. You and your arrival, whatever your name is, you're responsible for this, aren't you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nobody likes Cap and Murde foreigners interfering in an election. Shut up and let the magistrate speak. Maliolus is going to be magistrate by the end of the day. You have no idea what you're doing. You're going to get us all killed. Just stay out of our way, and we won't have a problem. Wait, I will not allow you to do this. You're showing your true colors now, priestess. Your corruption sickens me. Demetrius, ignore her. Proceed. The 
This is insanity. Oh, oh the many shall suffer. Oh shit. The sins of the one. That's my first skill, I guess. As in like not using the golden ball. What if I kill Sentus? <laughs> well, I got this ending already, right? <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, by the way, by the way, I may get a different ending because we never talk to Karen since we know she's Karen. You know what I mean? So I, I'm actually happy doing this because now we're going to see Maleolos winning the election, Sentius winning the election too, right? Uh, and Galeris winning the election and being out here again, so. Oh. This is before he hanged himself. <laughs> Give me a bit of a fray. Thought I was in here alone. I'm Al. Al Worth, I came here to find you. Well, here I am. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. I'm Achilles. Really? That's strange. I was just reading an old tablet I found here. Well, trying. My Latin is kind of rusty. But the last entry mentioned someone with the same name. It described an event about 2,000 years ago. Someone with your name appeared in the city mm -hmm, out of the shrine mm -hmm. of Proserpina and murdered a local magistrate, breaking some kind of ancient law. It said that the voice of a furious god rang out, and the ground trembled and statues sprang to life, firing arrows at the city's inhabitants. True, I was there. As the citizens screamed and died in pain, the stranger just vanished in a flash of light. Actually, that was me. Uh... What? You're saying you were here 2,000 years ago. Yeah, the only thing I didn't understand is like, understand. when the Sentius summons you with the, with the, with the, with the wormhole or whatever, he sends you 2,000 back in time. I thought you were on the present. Never mind. That's the whole thing I didn't get before. When I first arrived here in the present day, I found your corpse hanging from a noose. Uh, I'm sorry, come again? I still have the suicide note you curve into this tablet here. Um, let me see that. God, why does this writing look so familiar? I've spent a lifetime in this place going around and around in circles. This is... Oh, this is disturbing. But I don't understand how I could have written it. It was written by a different version of you, a change the past and your fate. I... Uh, I'm not following. I killed the man who opened the portal and drew you back in time, preventing it from ever happening. So you're saying, because a man from 2,000 years ago is dead, he never created a time portal, so I never went through it, and that's why I don't mm -hmm. remember any of this. I guess. So what you're really saying is, you brought me back from the dead to let me die all over again. You saw the tablet. I spent a lifetime searching for a No, 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 it's a different future. I can't see how I could possibly find it's a one different now, timeline, so sir. It seems like we're both gonna die here. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I regret nothing. How can you say that? You murdered a man in cold blood, and now there's a city full of dead people. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before you didn't know how it was back then, man. All those old Latin inscriptions were right. Pro peccata unius multis dolabunt. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Rich ending one out of four. Oh, there you go. So I got ending one and two. Now, I don't know how to get three or four. How many might have survived if you hadn't killed Sentius in Cobla? You can get this first ending. You start the game, get the ball from the, from the assassin, and then boop, kill Sentius, and you just get this ending. Now, I'm going to get whatever ending from Galeris winning the election, uh, putting the plaque on the obelisk and opening the door to the temple on the top. I don't know if that's going to be ending three or four. But the, the other ending I'm not going to get, I'll just look it on YouTube because I don't know how to get it. So, yeah. Or I could look at the guide on how to get ending three or something, you know. Um, Anyways, um, I don't know where I am. What do I have to do? Okay, 
Have I talked to Rufus? I think so, right? Where is it? I think I'm gonna have to restart the loop and uh, do this properly. I have nothing to yeah. say. Wait, what? This? Oh, I was the gonna say. Shall this doesn't count as breaking the my whole of the one. So the designing boat is a uh, Virgil. That's why we had to do his quest. Interesting. Now the thing I had to talk to Rufus and like, don't be too aggressive, I guess. Just convince him to stop uh, threatening Virgil. That's it. Not to make him come out of the closet. So. Okay, Oof, I had to do the whole. Okay, let's let's prepare this. So I need to make Malelos drop out, convince Galerius, and then do the Virgil thing, and then make Galerius do the whole uh, stuff. Okay, I got this. You need to follow a certain pattern. Uh, I need you to take care of something. Julius. So we do Julius. So all pure spots, or, or yeah. Uh, all right, let me this see. is for Stop Georgius. In, Georgius. Understood. Yep. Oh my God! Oh, you, we can do this too. What? Are you? I'll go. Oh, uh, but we didn't that? do. Okay, so we did Julius. We didn't do Ulpius, right? But maybe doing Maleolos will help Ulpius from not jumping? Ixian turns. I'm not sure. I'm gonna check myself, I guess. I thought we could do all the tasks, but never mind. Let me check on Fabia. Whatever's in that great temple up there on the bluff, I've not been here for a fortune. Wait, how did you know I was headed in there? No time to explain. Go! All right, I'll be in my bakery. Thank you, Galerius. Okay. Galerius is me. <laughs> He's doing all my things. He's my slave. Sorry, Galerius. I bought the... I bought the... The governor of the Forgotten City. I'm the invisible hand. I am about this god. I'm gonna throw an arrow. If I kill anyone with this arrow, I'm sorry. Good. Um. Yep, we just need to wait. Oh no. Lucretia, no time to explain. I'm supposed to give you the Sylphium resin for Yulia. <laughs> Whatever's in is he gonna go to the there on the bluff? I bet it's worth a fortune. Go to the shrine. There you go. So Fabio is saved. Julia is saved. What the new guy told me. I don't understand. How did never mind? Thank you. So I think I need to do all piece stuff. Yeah, that guy's dead. Now we can do Virgil's in between. Let's hope uh let's hope I do, do it correctly. Okay, so are you with the one threatening Virgil? No idea what you're talking about. Okay, I know it was you. Yes, so what? I'm just going to ask you to stop threatening him. And why should I? Uh, uh well Uh since to me your agitation is bigger threat than Virgil's personal affairs. Well I wouldn't get so angry if he wasn't so so beautiful <laughs> so cute uh he just seems like a normal guy keeping to himself what's your problem it makes me uncomfortable 
Oh, so eventually we have to do this. Are you uncomfortable with your feelings towards him? I don't like where you're going with this. Fine, I take it back. Smart. No! My Fuck! I didn't do it. How do I make him stop uh, being threatened? Maybe I need to do half the dialogue and then talk to him and then talk to him again? I hear we Well, Malia. My vote isn't for sake. Mm. Well, Wait, he's talking about voting for Maleolos. So that means he hasn't dropped out yet? Wait, 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 wait. Demetrius, stop. I try. Wait. Where is Galerius? Ah, this didn't work out. It wasn't for lack of trying. Bro, go! Oh no, he's stuck. The game is bugged. Maybe they need to do this first? What? Just like a How? Galerius arranged it somehow. Really? That's incredible oh what a relief i don't know what to say you don't need to say anything hey maybe they need to do the dialogue before gallery skips going that's weird though celebrate properly when you're ready i will thank you Olpius. i will my only concern is if gallery wins and domitius still shows up and be like no maleolo should win you know Don't believe a word they Wait, tell you. Sir? Are you under duress, sir? I, I just had a, a, a change of heart. For you on track to be magistrate, sir. All that work, all that money wasted. Those are my orders. Carry them out. <sighs> okay, so As he's wish, dropping sir. out. Yeah, and all pieces is safe too, so I don't need to talk to him. Sure. So... Yeah. I need to do the the Rufus thingy for Virgil. Otherwise, uh, Galerius is not going to win. Uh, yeah, it's going to be like, get out. I, have not I don't know how to convince him, though. Maybe I need to talk to Virgil's first? Okay. Citizens, I have an announcement. Maliolus has withdrawn his candidacy from today's election. Unless any new challengers are nominated by nightfall, Sentius. Oh, I haven't have convinced Galerius to be the candidate. Actually, I'd. Oh. Uh, I'd like to nominate to myself, if that's all right. Of course, Galerius. We're on autopilot right. mode. Citizens, the election will proceed. Ah, this is not gonna work. Salve again, friend. How is it possible? Oh. Uh. <laughs> ah. Oh, and now. Okay, everything is ready. I f I said for the Rufus man. Uh. All right. See you. Sorry, right. Galerius. Sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> The oh many my God. shall suffer for the sins of the one. Again. I just had to restart the load. The statues. The golems. Man, how do I do that? Am I missing? Do I need to find an extra item for the roof thing? I don't know how to do it. I'm gonna look for a small hint, to be honest. 
Because I don't want to be stuck in this for long. Almost, almost worked. But I am glad you can do the whole thing just by autopilot galleries. Just takes care of everything. Uh, let me see. Okay. How to stop the Rufus threatening Virgil? Let's see. Okay. To start this quiz, you need to talk to Virgil on the marketplace. Check the graffiti, blah, blah, blah. Ask him what it means. Okay. And then... Once you talk to Virgil, you will need to talk to speak with some other merchants. Turn to Georgius and to Fabia. Okay. Okay. We already know it's Rufus. We already did that. You need proof. To find out that it was Virgil all along, go to go to where everyone's rooms are located past the marketplace. Find Rufus's room, which is located on the upper floor beyond the tavern. And look around, you'll see the incomplete note that makes clear that Rufus is the one harassing Virgil. And we already did that. And then, how to stop Virgil harassing? Okay. Once you found the evidence, talk to Rufus to your on on harassing Virgil. If you have not got the evidence, Okay. Wait, what? Okay, so... Even when you have the proof, you are going to need to cure Rufus' rheumatism to get him to stop harassing Virgil. Oh, I didn't know that. This means completing the Athor in the Paw questline, which can be done either through entering the palace through the Gilded quest, or by finding Naivia's notes in her room and delivering them to Lucretia. Oh. Mm. Holy shit, how do I do that though? Let me see. Do I have Na Navius notes? I'm not sure. Navius treatment notes. Can I give this to... Uh, Lucretia? Okay. okay. But how do I... Okay, so also by doing this, you don't need a 2000 Danetis Danetis to free Ulpius. You just convince him from Malelos dropping out and freeing the, the slaves, I guess. Okay, so. Uh, let me double check this, right? 
like I can do this from the beginning, but I think I already did most of it. So I'm just gonna go straight to the point. Maybe I fucked up doing this, but whatever. So we're gonna look for, uh, for uh, like I already figured out. Yeah, ask the merchants in the forum for clues about Virgil's. I didn't need to do this because I already found out who it was. I already found out it was Rufus, right? Okay. So the thing is, I need to do the wait, wait, wait. What if I give Lucretius the notes? Oh my fucking! And she can uh, heal the. The Ruemautism. No. If you got, n n if you have not got the evidence, but try to go the answer out of him, he will call you bluff and require proof. Even when you have the proof, you're going to need to cure Rufus Ruemautism. I don't know how to trigger that quest. Oh okay, yeah, let's try this. Maybe there's a there is a combination of dialogues I haven't tried. I thought I tried every combination, but I guess not. So Are you the one threatening? No idea what you're talking about. Oh, what was that? And it was you? Yes, so what? What? Uh Oh, well, he doesn't call my bluff. Yeah, that's. Can I talk to him again? Uh, yes. Okay. No, I. Whatever. Mm, wait, wait, wait. Can't. Because. What are you dealing with? Oh, 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 maybe this is a trick. None of your business. I didn't tell us. If you were a deal. Ah, almost. If we. If I. Hmm. And just, what do you mean? I mean, all these people just bumble along like nothing's wrong. Seems like I'm the only one ready for what's coming. What do you think it's coming? I don't know. I think you're paranoid. Don't tell me you're one of those gold... Oh, don't tell me you're mad, please. I have nothing... Oh my fucking god, this guy. So stupid. <laughs> I don't know how to do this quest. Feeling... Um. Oh, they but. Well, until this chick, the last, and then she she's been gone. But I really one of my patients. Oh 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 oh. One of my patients is suffering from terrible rheumatism. His joints are inflamed and he's in constant pain. Who? I really shouldn't say. He wouldn't like it. And he's a little bit there you scared. Go. But now he's, he's mad at us. so irritable that the smallest things set him off. And I worry he'll end up losing his temper and lashing out. And you know what that means. I just know Navia would know how to treat him. Assuming she's still alive. But nobody seems to know how to get into the palace. Actually, I already figured out the treatment for rheumatism. You did? Oh That's my god. Unexpected. But tell me, what is it? Willow bark. Willow bark. I should have known. It was under my nose the whole time. That's very helpful. Thank you. <laughs> I'm completing a quest I didn't have, I think. I have some right here. Could you do me a favor and give him some of this? He'll just need to swallow a pinch of it. I'm hoping it will avert disaster. Nice. But I'm not sure if Rufus is going to talk to us anymore. All right, I can do that. Thank you. I'm really glad you Okay, I to managed to get it. <laughs> That's a shame. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Come on, bro. 
Mm. I have nothing to say. Ah. Uh. You imbecile! The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. It's fine. We got this. Run, Xantis, run! Snipe? I want to talk to Karen one more time after knowing she's the one, you know? So maybe... You know what? I'm gonna do a speed run for Centilla. To get the second ending again? Maybe? Ugh, should I do that? I don't know, like... I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna save the game here. And go for Santilla. Uh, I'm pretty busy. Yeah. Let's go, let's do that real quick, because... Now that we know Karen is Karen... Take Karen. You okay, Underworld. I'm interested to see how she reacts or he reacts or where. So what we have to do is go to Centilla and uh, make her kill Centius. Hey, you're not Shut thinking up. about going into the cistern, are you? I am. Whoa. What's up? Yeah. Real quick, real quick. I'm just curious. At this point, oh, there's enemies like me here. Uh, we had to go this way, right? It was it this way. Wait, which way was it? Help me! Please. I forgot. Oh, this way, this way, this way. There we go. Okay, now. Wait. Okay. What? Uh, it's too dangerous. I changed my mind. I will let you go. Forget the others. Let's get out of here. Um. Oh, thank you. Okay. Now follow. What is here? You distract him. Okay. Stay right here and keep him talking while I look for something I can use. What did you do with Centilla? Where is she? Uh. So that is how it's... It's a... You'd have been... Come. You see... But I... He was a... And because I'm... And when he... He's showing like we hadn't shows this dialogue, but we are right. We actually have. So you've discovered my secret. So what? What are you going to do about it? Mm -mm -mm. Of course, man. As I took by reliving the same day over and over. Okay, again, we already know all this. This is on the second chapter of this playthrough, by the way. Long after your dust. Towards the ending, I think. Uh, it was well. Uh... Why? And as long as the I have found a way to prolong mm -hmm, my mm -hmm, life mm -hmm. indefinitely, to cheat death, I have become in effect as immortal as the gods. Can you honestly say you would not wish the same for yourself? Do you really think? Who? Centilla? 
Where is she? I'm right here, father. Okay, and now we escape. And I think with this ending, we get to talk to Karen. Which we call it on the first the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Come on, we have to go. Hey, what's happening to you? That light, it, it's so bright. Okay. So I hope we get the new dialogue options with it, Karen. Compared to last time. But first we need to find Al, tell him to get out. Uh, well, I don't okay. I, uh, um, where I send this, and we escape. The thing is, in this timeline, he, oh, maybe not. No, no. Yeah, both timelines are on the present. Hey, okay, there you go. Now we can talk to her. Or to him or whatever. I'm gonna pop. You. Let's see. I'm just curious. Because we learn all, all about the underworld and everything, right? So I'm curious to see if the, anything changed. After knowing that fact. You're back. Ah, oh, why? Okay. I discovered your real name is Karen. Or was it Kirthy? There you go. You see this new. Ah. Oh. I see. I thought you might. Well, now you know. I suppose you have questions. I love this game how you can go from discovering so little and then from digging so deep like he has so much interconnected stuff it's so cool who are you really you can just call me carol if you like i am sorry i was not completely honest with you when we first met i do not enjoy deceiving people believe me i do not but i have learned from five thousand years of experience that most people find comfort in familiarity, in gradual change, and mm -hmm. coming to see the truth in their own time. I also like how the developers knew people would get curious about finding out, and they included all this stuff, yeah. That you died, of course. You were dead when I brought you here. Mm -hmm. My role, as the servant of the god of the underworld has always been to assist the Chosen to cross the threshold from the land of the living to the land of the dead. How did I die? Hmm. Usually, when people do not remember how they died, it is because they suffered a terrible trauma. Most souls would rather not remember. Ask yourself honestly, do you really want to know? Mm-hmm, yeah. As you wish. You were murdered. You were exploring an old tomb when you discovered a cache of forgotten relics, including two mm. silver coins of ancient origin. Unfortunately, as you emerged into daylight, you were set upon by two thieves. A nearby hiker saw the scuffle break out and leapt to your aid, trying to help you recover your bounty. You both fought bravely, but your assailants were armed, and you were not. There was nothing you or your ally could have done. He died instantly at the scene, and you followed a few hours later. That man's name was Al Wood. Mm. You were each in possession of a sacred coin, called Karen's Opal by some. Mm. And so it was my duty to bring you here. So Al and me died. Karen bring us both here. And we could pay Karen because we had the two silver coins. The two silver ovals. Ah. What's so special about these coins? Perhaps you have heard the tales of the Greeks and Romans bearing their dead with a coin in their mouths. To pay the ferryman for passage across the river. Well, 
Those stories contained a seed of truth, but not any coin would do. A long time ago, my master created a thousand silver coins oh. and had me distribute them across the world. My orders were simple. Whenever a person died in possession of a coin, I was to locate them and ferry them here. So only a thousand people could, could do that. That's kind of classist. That is a question you would have to ask him, if that were still possible, in light of the path you have chosen. I am just his servant, doing his bidding. Only now, I find myself bereft of purpose. You see, the coins on you and Al were the last of the thousand in existence. There is nobody else to ferry here, nobody to keep you company. After oh. 5,000 years, the underworld has finally run its course. Can you return us to the land of the living? I see no point in keeping you here. But I have to ask one thing. That you keep this to yourself. Okay. Look! Here comes Al now! Al! It's so good to see you! You were gone so long I thought I'd never see you again! Kinda lost track of time in there. You wouldn't believe what we found. The ruins of a long-forgotten city. And there was a tablet describing an event 2,000 years ago. Supposedly, the city was destroyed when a woman murdered a tyrant with the help of... Well, my new friend here. I know how crazy that sounds. <laughs> Maybe not that crazy. That woman. I don't suppose her name was... Centilla? How could you... What? She left a tablet of her own. I stumbled across it while I was waiting here. I think she meant for you to read it. Here. Hey, we already know this. I don't know what became of you. Or if you'll ever read. Sounds like you meant a lot to her. You two look exhausted. Sounds good. And you? Alright. Karen, furry as home. Okay. So I'm not sure if this is... Oh, this is the second ending again. Okay. Well, at least we got the new Dalen with Karen. That's all. That's all I was curious about. That was really cool. I'm glad I did that. Right, now let's go for Galerius winning the election. For real. Now I'm not sure if that's gonna be the third ending or the true canon fourth ending. That's how I describe it. So let's see. Where do I start now? At load maybe. Um, this one. This one is the manual save I did here. Okay, so we need to cure uh, uh, Rufius. Um, to get the last plaque, maybe Sounds we can. Oh, Ooh, I'm glad I clicked that because I was clicking so fast. All right. Oh, but he didn't cure Rufus. Oh, because I never cure him. Oh. In the first place. I know the recipe, right? Oh, wait, do I have it on me? Uh, what is it? The Willow Spark. Yeah, cool. My question is... Do I need to... Wait, wait, wait. First, I'm gonna talk to Lucretia. To learn his... Wait. Let me try talking to him. Maybe I got a new option. Now that we know about his... Yeah, about the romances. What business is that of yours? I figured out a treatment. Eat a pinch of this willow bark and you should feel better in no time. Willow bark? And this will work? There you go. Oh, thank God. Finally, some relief. Lead resolve a four in the paw. Maybe God hasn't abandoned me after all. Thank you. I've been in a lot of pain lately. The rheumatism, these cursed statues always watching in the crisis okay. of faith it was too much started messing with my head 
This is exactly what I needed to set it straight again. I owe you one. Yes. No idea what you're talking about. It's, I know that's... Okay, now he's more calm. But... It's the truth. But... With the little one... I'm already starting to feel like myself again. And I know... There you I go. I owe you one. So... I'll leave him alone from now on. Finally. It's not as if I was ever going to hurt him anyway. I was just lashing out. I'm going to go. He sounds and so calm now. <laughs> just forget this ever happened. Will you? All right, no problem. Nice. And now we talk to Virgil. We tell him he, we convince Rufus to stop harassing him. And uh, Galerius will win the election. Thanks. Ah, I Don't worry about the threats, it's just Rufus and he's never going to hurt you. Uh, what demon or spirit told you about that? I found an incomplete note in his house. You went snooping in his place? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was risky. We're lucky you didn't cross any lines. Have you spoken to him about it? Yep. I won't be bothering you anymore. Really? How did you manage that? I found a treatment for his rheumatism, which was making him agitated and compounding some other personal issues. Ah, uh, poor fellow. I've heard that can really mess with a person's head. Hey. Well done for figuring that out. Happy to help. I think he wants to help clean up his graffiti too. Really? That's promising. I'll keep an eye out for him. Okay. I heard you in the toilet. Well. Maliolis is talking about loosening some of the restrictions in this place. And while it's all a bit vague. Okay. Nice to. Um. I guess Galerius has to. Citizen. Oh, he's gonna clean the graffiti. Okay, where is Galerius though? <laughs> is he talking to. Oh, there he is. Did he talk to Malelos already? I'm not sure. We drop out. Okay, we are on the right track, I think. Now, the thing is... Hmm. I feel I can leave the boat somewhere. Is there a place I can throw the weapons? I think there is. I just don't know where. The cattle, the cattle, something like that. I don't know where that is though. Maybe, I don't know. I don't think I need this use anyways. We got the three to two, right? Now, I think. Greetings and salutations. Bro, I just help you. Sometimes I stare at the great temple on the Nice. Okay, let's see when he, Equitia announces Galerius is running for magistrate. Hmm? Okay, Domitius is talking. Don't believe a word they tell you. All that work, all that money wasted. Okay. Those are my orders. Now Equitia will receive the news. This is the one, guys. This is the one. Galerius will be saved, will be elected. Oh, we need to make the deal with this guy. Salve. To give us the plaque. Uh, hello. Um. Do you know it? But. But. Um. Like. Galerius? Okay. Yeah. Galerius will let me out, then you can have my plaque, and then we'll, we'll have it. Okay, sure. Bye bye. There you go. Now we have a deal. Actually, I'd. 
I'd like to nominate myself, if that's all right. Of course, Galerius. That's your right. Citizens, the election... Oh, no. Maybe... Sometimes I stare at... Welcome. Well, Cynthia seems to know what... My... Oh, my fucking God. Nice to talk to you. He's gonna vote for Sentius again? Bro, I just help you. Oh my god. Um Well Got to do it again. Alan okay, so we cure Rufus. He stopped threatening Virgil. What if I do it everything? What if I do everything by myself? Because I feel I'm speed running the galleries thingy by making him do all the tasks, and that is messing up the. Sometimes I stare to get. But well. My. Well. <laughs> you. Nice to talk to you. Bro. So, and good. I'm glad it's best if I say no more. Some I mean which me and I'm good. The f good question. It's best if I Some I mean which me and I'm good. The f Perhaps it's best. Nice to talk. Some people are because other people are like, oh, you help me, so I'll well, vote for Galerius. All right. Well. All right. Nice to. Mm. <laughs> Is everyone going for the election? Not really. I guess I had to tell uh, Equitia to. How'd you do? Are they going or not? I'm so confused. Okay, so I have time. I have time. Um. Okay. Sorry, Julie. I the had many to shall suffer for the sins of the one. Hmm. I'm not sure if I had to do first the Rufus thing, and then convince Galerius to get elected? Like, because Virgil is like, oh, no one has broken the golden rule. I'm gonna vote for Sentius. He seems like an, he seems like everyone is working, you know? How do I change his mind, though? What am I missing? I really thought I was gonna get it there. At least we completed the Rufus thing, so that's good. But I wanted more progress. Okay, let's see. Okay. So, Rufus is doing. Oh, so we can do this too by quick. <laughs> Yulia. Poor Virgil. All right, let me see. What? I'll go. Okay. This is gonna work. Oh, I can't take the zip line. Whatever. Go, go, go. Okay, so basically, Galeri is gonna do all the quests I have done, but he's just gonna. He's like a speedrunner. Look at him. He's literally a speedrunner. This is me if I was speedrunning this game. Boom, 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 boom. Fabian, listen. The troublemaker coming into the city. I know, and I'll take care of it. Just go and hide, but not in the empty shrine. Wait, how 
Did you know I was headed in there? No time to explain. Go! All right. I'll be in my bakery. Thank you, Galerius. Don't shoot. I'm no threat. You'll find what you're looking for in the avenue. Second building on your left. I've got to run. Thank you. For your service to the Empire, I'll let you live for now. But you'd best make sure our paths don't cross again. The man, the hero. I'm guessing that Promethean fire is not for sale. Lucretia, no time to explain. I'm supposed to give you the Sylphium resin for Yulia. What? Quick, give it here. I'm just going to help her swallow this. I think she's going to be all right. Galerius, you're amazing. How did you know? I was just doing what the new guy told me. I don't understand. How did... Never mind. Thank you so much for acting as pretty as you did. Another moment more, you would have lost her. Can't stay. Places to be. <laughs> the only thing I don't get is how is Ulpius not jumping? Like, how does it know? Julia is alive and he's free. I don't know. Salve, Rufius. I hear your rheumatism has you so riled up you've been harassing Virgil. <laughs> what? My condition is nobody's business but mine. Speeding facts. There's no need for that. I just wanted to give you this willow bark to help you treat it. A treatment? Really? Ah, thank God. Finally, some relief oh, after all this Virgil thank you, votes Galerius. for Galerius because he's You're the one. Good man. And I'll Giving be sure this to him. Oh, okay. Alone. I know I haven't been at my best lately. Appreciate that. So the no, first time we do it run. ourselves doesn't work, but this when he does it, I say. I guess now Virgil is like, oh, Galerius gave Rufius the treatment, and he made Rufius stop harassing me, so I'm gonna vote for him. I guess that's how it works. What is happening here? What now? I have a message from Aliolus. Yeah? Who's it from? Uh, the Emperor. He knows Maliolus's real name is Quinctius, thanks to Claudia, and demands he withdraw from the election and release Ulpius and Iulia immediately. Uh, <laughs> are you out of your mind, farm boy? Dividius, that's enough. What? You're not gonna listen to this, don't are you? G Galerius, all right, I'll withdraw, and Ulpius and Julia are free. I, uh, I, I trust our business is concluded? Uh, yes, that ought to do it. I guess I'll go and tell Ulpius the good news then. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Holy shit, it's so funny. How this is just like revealing the whole plot twist <laughs> in like Citizen. this manner. It's so funny. Go, 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 go. Did he have to run all the. Oh. Good news, Ulpius. Maliolus has agreed to release you and Yulia from your debts. Huh. What? Are you messing with me? I wouldn't do that. You're both free. We're. We're free. We're free. Thank you. It seems fortune smiles on us after all. I'd better go and pay a visit to Yulia immediately. Okay. So, basically, when we got the other ending, when we rescued Centilla and just escaped, they, they, it was like, oh, but everyone died, right? Except for her. So, what we're doing now is, like, helping every person in here so we can all escape. That's what we're doing now. Why do you look so happy? Hmm. A We're golden free. Just Maliolus like just released Diana. us and we never have to set foot in that villa again. What? How? Galerius arranged it somehow. Really? That's incredible. Galerius! Galerius! Oh, what Let's vote for him. Yes. I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. 
Just rest up, get your strength back, and we'll celebrate properly when you're ready. I will. Thank you, Olpius. I will. There you go. Um... Welcome. Okay, let me talk to this guy real quick. I'm tempted to talk to Virgil to I see if he's changed his mind. Though. I think he did, though. But let's make the deal with this guy. Do you love? But, but, like, yeah, yeah. Bye bye. Okay. Yeah. Done. Uh, should I talk to him? I want to ask him who's who is he gonna vote for. I hope he says fucking hilarious, please. Ah, and you think I you? Wait, what? What? Welcome. He doesn't say anything. That's weird. Hmm? Maybe the game's like uh, error, error, error. Hmm. You know. Citizens, I have an announcement. Maliolus has withdrawn his candidacy from today's election. Unless any new challengers are nominated by nightfall, Sentius will be re-elected magistrate by default. Actually, I'd, uh, I'd like to nominate myself, if that's all right. Of course, Galerius, that's your right. Citizens, the election will proceed. Okay. Let's go. Salve again, friend. How is it possible? Oh. Uh <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, let's do the elections. I hope they work, though. A new face. Uh, what is this other election? Can we start the election now? As I well, I would. Hmm. Very. Can I talk to Virgil now? Please. Vote for Galerius. Oh my god. It's... Whatever. We'll see the results live. No spoilers. Let's see what happens. Drums. Please work. Just to quickly recap, there is a temple on top of the city that is closed. We never enter that temple. There's an obelisk in front of the temple with four plaques. One Sumerian, another Egyptian, another Roman, and another Greek. We have three out of four. The last one is inside the jail. And to get that plaque, we need to free the guy in the jail. And he will give, his, he will give it to us. Uh, if Galerius uh, gets elected magistrate. So that's what we're trying to do. And once we get the fourth plague, we will put it on the obelisk, unlock the door, and talk to the god of the underworld. It's himself, or itself, or where. I don't know. I hope motherfucking Domitius doesn't come and ruin everything. Yeah, please. We're gonna start. Citizens, we have a quarate body of voters gathered here to elect the city's magistrate. The candidates are Sextus Sentius Imperiosus and late nominee Gallus Galerius Helva. Marcus Maliolus Gurgis withdrew his candidacy earlier today. As agreed, we shall dispense with ballots and candidates will abstain from voting. Let's make this quick. As I say your name, call your vote. I'll start with you, Horatius. Sentius, of course. George. One. Galerius. One, one. Saved the life of my dear friend Fabia. Dacius. Sentius. Two, one. Virgil. The man who put a stop to the threat. Two, two. Galerius. Ulpius. Galerius. Two, three. We winning. Rufius. The man who 
Oh my god, 2 4. GG, easy. You have made your decision. Please don't be stupid. Your new magistrate is Gallus Galerius Helver. Mm. What? It has been decided. What? <laughs> magistrate Galerius, would you like to make a brief address? Uh, um, I just want to say this isn't something I ever wanted. Now that you put your trust in me, I'm going to do everything I can not to let you down. I'll need some time to put together a list of the changes I want to make around here. But I promise you, there will be changes. My first order is that Dooley is to be freed. Oh. Horatius, release him from his cell immediately. Please. Wait, do I need to say please? <laughs> I suppose not. That's it. You can all get on with your day. Nothing else to see here. Move along. Yikes. Let's go. Oh, so we also got the vote from Rufus doing that. That's cool. Because last time Rufus voted for Male Olivos. Let's see. Okay, free this man. We got you, bro. Now you're gonna get broke, break the golden rule, and we're gonna all die. Nice. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Fortune smiles on you today, Julius. Magistrate Galerius here has ordered your release. You're going to let me out? Yeah. I'm sorry it took so long, my friend. And it wouldn't have happened at all if it wasn't for a newcomer. So be sure to offer your thanks when you can. Mm -hmm. I will. Mm -hmm. I will. Thank you, Galerius. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got a lot of work ahead of me. Why don't you go to the baths, then tell Georges I said you could have some new clothes. Then I want you to go home and rest. I'll speak with hey. you. Hey, you are free from your cell. Give me that shit. Letter from Santis to Dule. Finally. Hey, this Lord of Many. There you go. Collect all four stolen plagues. Nice. Return all plagues to the obelisk. Uh, hello? I'm Dooley. I don't care. Oh, thank you. You're a big helper. You're welcome. You can have my shiny plaque if you want. I made my friend Hannibal used to look after me. But before that, he told me if anything ever happened to him, I had to find something very precious. Uh, I did. What was in there? Was it gold and pearls and shiny things? <laughs> Do you... Do you think you could share some with me? I learned some very important things in there, and I think they might help us even more. I'm confused. Hannibal said it was a precious secret. It's not a treasure. It is precious. Oh. Oh, look over there. Maybe. No. No. I can see it. From Don't do it. Oh my. And it's just lying out here in the open. Stop! Nobody wants it anymore. Maybe no one will mind if Oh I my don't. fucking god. Just take it. Don't you dare. The many shall god. suffer okay, so. for the sins of the one. Stop this man. Let's see if we can do this in time. I guess I have to list who the plaque and then the next loop. Yeah, let's say I put this plaque a long time ago, right? So I didn't have to worry anymore. I'm gonna put it so next loop is there already. I mean, I, I have it on me. I can restart the loop and just come up here and do it. Mm, this is maybe a stupid to list. Yeah. Mm hmm. What 
happening, it's happening. Oh shit. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm dead. Joaquin Dooley, bro. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, I don't know what was last saved though. Oh my god, that was so funny though. <laughs> Where am I? Okay. Dutch, Dutch, Dutch. 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 I'm dead. Okay. I'm going to run to the loop and uh, do it next loop, I guess. Because this is not working. God damn it, Dooley. It's so shiny, I had to steal it. Okay, how do I go down there fast? This way, I guess. <laughs> First thing he does. Oh, there was a there was a zip line there. Oops. Can't touch this. Oh, I almost died. How do I... Wait, 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 what? Oh. Okay, we out. Alright, I guess next loop, we'll have to do it. Okay, also, I, I, uh, I had to do a dialogue with... Uh, with uh, whoever is behind the door, right? So... I'm busy. Okay, so we have all the leads completed. Uh, wait. Did you fuck up? Did I not put the plaque? Grip black. Wait, what? I have it on me. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna save before having the dialogue because I don't want to mess up, right? Um, in case I want to repeat the dialogue. Mm, but this is uh, this is the end of the game, guys. I think, unless after that. A whole new thing happens, but I don't know. Hey, I don't care. 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 I can't believe this is how it ends. Okay. No, Opus! No, no, no. Oh, I didn't save Julia. Oh my God, he's gonna die. What? Oh, Centilla. You. Well. No, I am out. Wherever you are. Centilla, my love. Oh I'm my sorry. god! Olpius, no! Okay, what if I do Galerius make do wow. everything? <laughs> Fucking shit! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, where's the last save? Is it after the loop restarted? Oh, it's not. Um, bro. I guess I had to do galleries, do everything, and then do the thing so everyone is safe because I don't want Ulpius to die. Oh my goodness. Wait, so I say, do you know about Centilla? Blah, blah, and then. Because Julia is dying, right? Um. What if we restart the uh, loop? This is after I cross the portal. Where the hell? Yes. Okay. Good. So 
Galerius, be me. Be Flash. You? Boom, boom, boom. All right. Oh. Uh, and now we have to wait a little bit until he completes everything, right? Da -da 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 -da. I just learned the other day, by the way, that this game is based on a scary mod with the same name, I believe. And then they just made it a, a standalone game because apparently it was a very famous mod from Skyrim. Like a lot of like millions of people played it. I never played it myself, but the concept, the whole concept of uh, finding a city and this whole loop and the people you find, the whole intricate uh, plots, right? All that was on the Skyrim mod, which is amazing. And there they were like, oh yeah, this is cool. But they they changed it a little bit of like the, this standalone game. They changed like, the graphics. They made it on a real engine, and uh, they made it a standalone game, which is amazing to be honest. I'll maybe give it a try to the Skyrim mod. Yeah, no. Don't fall. Okay, so we are going to put this here. Open the doors. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna wait a little bit more for Galerius. What is it? He should be running somewhere. Okay, Ulpius is there. So eventually, I guess he's talking to Fabio now. Or maybe he's talking to Virgil. Or to Rufius. I don't know where he is. But let, let, let's let him do all his duties. Saving. I guess he just finished talking to someone. He shall be running down here soon enough. Yep. There he is. He's gonna talk to Rufus, then Maleolos, then Ulpius, I think. We're chilling. Lovely view. Lovely view. Don't jump though. Also, when I was talking with Equitia before and Rufus got in the middle when he fought upon me, it's funny because apparently, I don't know how, I got an achievement called uh, Use the Photo Mode, which is pressing F, by the way. F, sorry, P. There you go. This is a photo mode. Which is really cool, by the way. You can just free camera. This is the first time I use it. This is that legit. This is legit the first time I use the photo mode. But for some reason, when uh, Rufus photo bombed me, I got the achievement or of uh, <laughs> use the photo mode. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I don't know how. I think that was a glitch probably by the game. But it's funny it unlocked right at that moment. This is such a funny coincidence. I don't know. Anyways, okay. Galerius is gonna talk to him. And last, Ulpius. Cool. I like how when you complete the quest, Galerius can just complete it again. So you don't have to do it by yourself. That's a really cool uh, addition to the game. Imagine you have to do all the quests every every loop. It will be annoying as fuck. So the game is like, oh, Galerius, you go there, do this, go there, go do this. You know, it's like... Uh, it's like a checkpoint kind of, right? It's like, okay, you already did this, you figured it out, you don't have to do it anymore. That's cool. I also love, I'm doing like a small review, because as we have to wait. At least I can talk about something. Uh, I also love how the game has like, sure, most of it is like dialogues. Um, but then you have a little bit of uh, areas, like when we went to Naevia's temple with the bow and stuff, that was cool. Also, with the Meteor Temple, uh, going to the underground and this philosopher guy, and the Kabash, all that quest with the Egyptian, that was also really cool. Like, I love how the game is mostly about the story and the dialogues in a detective way, but then it has a little bit of a spicy uh, combat and sneaky and exploration, right? So it's very cool. I I, I, I like this game a lot, to be honest. 
the characters are memorable, even though I don't remember half of their names sometimes. But that's just me, though. I, I like how they, everyone plays a role, so unique, and yeah, it's like it's a small, like a small city, right? Okay, Galerius is finished. We can go. So I'm gonna save here, save the game, and I'm gonna do this dialogue. Let's see how this goes. Finally, first time entering this temple, and we are approaching. Maybe if this is a true ending. I'm not sure. No? Yeah. Great temple door. Okay, right, so Hades, Nurgle, Osiris, a Pluto. Say nothing. Um, like I don't know. I guess he, I, you can call it whatever you want, right? I'm gonna call him Pluto because that's the. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna load the game because I'm curious. If you call him by a different name, does he open the door? I'm just curious. At least it doesn't block your progress. So his true name is Pluto. I see. <laughs> He's just gonna be mad. He's gonna be like, you called me the wrong name five times, bro. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, wait. It depends on the room. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see. So there's gonna be a room for each culture. Uh. Wait. So I'm guessing this this is the Roman uh, room. Sure. And this one was Pluto because. Uh... Wait. Let, let me think this again. Hey, this was the Rick. Oh, it closes again. I wonder also if you get it first try, do you get that any rewards? I'm not sure. So, depending on the room. Okay, so this is Roman. Oh, it's open. This is a uh, Greek. Okay. Oh, it's gonna go from it's gonna go from uh, the newest to the oldest. Yeah, this is Egyptian. All right. Now I I want to do it first try. <laughs> now that I know making mistakes doesn't hold your progress anyways, and you can choose all the options you want. What if I do it first try? You know. Let's try that. So this is Roman. So this is Pluto. This is Greek. So this is Hades. Uh, then Egypt will be Osiris and Nergal will be Sumerian. So Hades. Same god, different names. This is uh, Osiris, Lord of the Silence. This is Sumerian. Why don't they put the, the that statue there, the fishy guy? Oh my goodness! What the hell? I didn't expect this. Okay, so you will remember on the main menu, on the main menu of the game says, uh, Dear streamer, dear content creators, whatever, if you make it to the wide hallway, which is this one, now that I see it, I can tell it's this one. Uh, well, everything after this is very spoiler heavy, so I avoid uh, spoiling uh, anything in the past this point. So, yeah, like, spoiler warning. I mean, if you made it this far watching this video, you should know the whole story. So, yeah. I'm pretty curious what's gonna happen now. Oh my goodness. Are these all gods? Like, is this Zeus? I don't know. This is a spaceship, bro. We were on a, a spaceship this whole time. Ah, we were outside Earth. 
maybe this was a social experiment, like I said, by advanced civilization. And here you are. Allow me to introduce myself. As you have already gathered, I've been known by many names. Nergal to the Sumerians, Osiris to the Egyptians, Hades to the Greeks, and Pluto to the Romans. Oh, you shit! But the one constant through it all has been my title, God of the Underworld. And I've been watching you with curiosity, mortal, ever since your arrival. You're unlike the others, aren't you? And what is more, you carry a weapon that was never intended for mortals to wield, and you do it so brazenly. But there will be time for your reckoning later. First, as a reward for undoing the desecration of my obelisk, I will allow you to satisfy your curiosity. Ask what you will. Okay, first of all, um, you are not the god, the god of the underworld. You are outside Earth, bro. <laughs> Or maybe this earth is just like a hologram? I'm not sure. Uh, anyways, um, and maybe the outcome is different if we're not carrying the bow? Hmm. Because it seems to be a little bit pissed about that. Okay, so uh, as a reward for undoing the desecration of my obelisk, I will allow you to satisfy your curiosity. Ask what you will. What's your story? So, uh, apparently the goal now is to convince him to uh, remove the golden rule law or whatever. Okay, what's your story? My story is many thousands of years long. You will need to be more specific. What do you want? you know to everything. You are a god? Why do you look and sound like a man? Who's the woman to your left? Who's that to your right? You are a god. It is a matter of perspective. God is a label I was given by you mortals, not one I gave myself. Your ancestors revered me because to them, my knowledge and technology made me incomprehensibly powerful, just as you might seem so to an insect. But despite all that, there are rules even I must obey. This is like a very advanced... Uh... <laughs> Makes sense, though. Like, uh, yeah, if you could, if ancestor, if, if, if you go with that to wrong with our, our, all our technology and power, then they will, they will seem like gods. So it makes sense. How do you look and sound like a man? My kin and I all adopted this form long ago so that we might better understand and communicate with your kind. In hmm. time, we grew fond of the sensory delights it affords, desire joy, ecstasy, even rage and sorrow, while an acquired taste can be addictive. Ah. May I see your true form? Let's go. Well, let's, let's ask about the woman. This is my beloved. Like me, she has been known by what many the hell? names. Eresh Kigal to the Sumerians. Isis. Isis to the Egyptians, Persephone to the Greeks, and Proserpina to the Romans. Or perhaps you might know her as the goddess of springtime, the cycle of life and renewal. Hmm. Your gaze lingers too long. What's that on your right? That is my servant. You would have met by the river, mm. though she wears many faces and Karen. goes by many names. Kumu Tabal to the Sumerians, Kurti to the Egyptians, Charon to the Greeks, and Charon to the Romans. Her role is to ferry souls between the mortal world and this one, and to make their transition as seamless as possible. I see. For that, she earned herself the infamous, if erroneous, moniker, the Ferryman. You will talk more later. For now, ask your questions. Ah. Uh... No. Long ago, I swore to Persephone that I would remain in this form yeah. for as long as we remained among your kind. I must honor that. So why is Persephone or Persephone it's whispering to us and she doesn't want us to uh, tell him that we can hear her? Or she's like hiding uh, 
yeah, she's like whispering, so him, so uh, Hades, I'm gonna call him Hades because I, I like that name. So Hades cannot hear her. Like she's trying to be sneaky about something, you know what I mean, guys? Like, she's trying to help us somehow. Uh, to be against his husband, I guess, right? As you wish. What is this place? It has come to be known simply as the Underworld. And it exists because of a wager I made long ago. <laughs> that was a wager you made. That is a long story. One that began over 3,000 years You lost a bear, bro. I feel you. Day. You see, long ago, my kin and I set out from our home on Elysium to search for other forms of life among the stars. Is the Anunnaki? Your planet and witnessed your kind evolving from primates Is the Anunnaki, guys? Lawless and barbaric. You all but destroyed yourselves. Your two short lives being extinguished by violence and ignorance and disease. Yet Proserpina saw raw potential in you. And persuaded the rest of us it would be squandered without our intervention and stewardship. So we revealed ourselves to your people in yep. a place called... Literally Sumer. Anunnaki's. We offered guidance in agriculture, toolcraft and law. And you called us gods. For a time you flourished. But soon you were too many for us to oversee. And as you spread from that cradle of civilization, we saw something disturbing. We had sown the seeds of dependency and confusion. And soon you returned to your old ways of violence and ignorance. This time in our name. My kin had seen enough and gave up on your coming, condemning you as barbaric and chaotic, scarcely more than animals. We began preparations to return to Elysium, our home world, a utopia unspoilt by conflict and unimaginable in its beauty. But my Proserpina could not bear to abandon your kind without mm. guidance, and knowing it would force the rest of us to leave her behind, she made an extraordinary sacrifice. She gave <gasps> up her mortality to descend permanently to the ranks of humankind. Mm -hmm. And so she began her inescapable trajectory toward death. We've seen this on Hades, the I game Hades. Swiftly. I placed her in suspended animation in a deep frozen sleep to prevent age and sickness from claiming her. And then I pleaded with Proserpina's father, who the Romans called Jupiter, to bring her with us to Elysium. It was and is my hope that once there, we might one day learn to undo what she has done to herself I see. but he refused i did everything i could to persuade him but he would not relent he would rigidly uphold his final pronouncement humans were unworthy of ascension to elysium and no exceptions would be made but seeing that i was aggrieved he proposed a wager okay. in terms of which were as follows mm -hmm. if even one human city could prove itself ah, capable of living that's without right. sin for a single year then Proserpina and all of humanity would be permitted to oh join Oh my Syria. goodness, the plot twist. My part would be to remain behind, the last of my kind, to watch over you without interfering, and to sit in silent judgment. And so my reward has been to languish here, enduring a 3,000 year <laughs> winter, waiting for the day your kind proves itself worthy of her faith in you. So that I might take her with me to Elysium and unthaw my goddess of springtime. And here I am, after all this time, still waiting. Okay, so this is what the whole game is about. This whole Forgotten City is just a way of uh, getting the Persephone back to Hades. Ah, huh. I see. That's cool. I didn't, I didn't expect that. I didn't predict that for sure. Who are your kin? There were also gods who, like me, have been known by many names. But perhaps you knew them by their Roman names. Our leader, Jupiter, as well as Neptune, Saturn, Juno, Minerva, Mars, Venus, Apollo, Diana, Vulcan, Vesta, Ceres, and of course, my beloved Priscilla. Okay. 
Who built the city? As the first wave of your kind arrived from Sumer, I had them build a city in their own fashion, so that they might be comfortable and recreate their lives here. I had them build the entrance as a vertical shaft leading to baths, to cleanse them of the sins of their former lives, and to prevent escape. I watched wave after wave of Sumerians arrive, and as their civilization declined over the centuries, they were replaced but by did, the, didn't they need current to get there? believing themselves to be the superior civilization, the Egyptians promptly built over what had been built before, and made all the same mistakes. After another thousand years, the Greeks began to arrive, and then the Romans, and they all did the same thing. They built upon the underworlds of their predecessors, renamed their gods, <laughs> and ensured their foundations were forgotten. Okay. Uh, yeah, but uh, isn't that a plot uh, hole? Like, uh, don't the people who arrive to the underworld, to the Forgotten City, need to be carried by Karen? And for that, they need a silver coin? I guess there was a thousand coins at the beginning, so let's say... Let's say a hundred Sumerians had the coins, and then a hundred arrived. And then a thousand years later, uh, another thousand uh, Egyptians. No, not thousand, like a hundred. Or maybe two hundred, I don't know. I don't want to go with numbers. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. You, you get what I mean. How did you decide who comes here? To ensure the wage was fair, it was important that my subjects were chosen at random. Okay. To this end, I had my servant distribute a thousand there you tokens go. fashioned from silver. A rare element. And a thousand is so little. Across all of Zoom. Whoever died while in possession of one of them would be located by my servant and ferried to this place with no memory of how. Mm. As the tokens were discovered, they were traded, smelted, and fashioned into trinkets, and eventually coins, spreading to Egypt like seeds on the wind. Later, when they spread to Greece, they would come to be known as Charon's Oval, or as coins for the ferryman. Some placed coins in the mouths of their dead, hoping they would awaken here, though they had no way of knowing which coins were fashioned from the original tokens. In fact, almost all of the tokens are accounted for, only two remain. And so after this wave destroys itself, as it is destined to do, your kind will have squandered the last of its potential to ascend beyond Why don't you make more coins? And Persephone is along with it. Okay. So this... I am your last chance of recovering your loved one. How did humans learn about the Underworld? It is a regrettable story. One of the first men who came to this place was a king of Sumer, and a troublemaker. To be rid of him, I returned him to his people, on the condition that my servant erased his memories of this place. But the erasure did not take completely, mm. and he told stories of this place as if describing memories of a dream. His tales were committed to writing, which came to be known as the Epic of Gilgamesh. I see. His words were twisted and distorted over generations. Later, the Egyptians would adapt Sumer's stories of the underworld, making them wildly yep. intricate and labyrinthine. Their Book of the Dead and Book of Gates bore less and less resemblance to this place in their priests' pursuit of profit. Then, when the Greeks began to arrive, they proved far more cunning. And in a series of incidents that will not be repeated, five of them escaped. A warrior named Heracles, two kings named Sisyphus and Theseus, a poet named Orpheus, and a Trojan named Aeneas. They each told embellished tales of this place, how to get here, and how to escape. And so from Sumer to Egypt, Greece to Rome, your kind has always told each other stories about this place. I each see. story contained only a seed of truth. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Of course. Are you responsible for the golden rule? Or that's all the question is that. Bye. See you next. So, <laughs> I wish I could save before talking to this guy, but whatever.
I guess I can repeat the old save. Uh, unless the game is like, nope. All saves deleted. Bye, nerd. You cannot replay this section. <laughs> and the game uninstalls. <laughs> yeah. So let's see how do we convince them. Are you responsible for the golden rule? We are, we are uh, talking to a god, after all. I mean, that's just a label, but you know what I mean. That is merely the name your people have given to yep. it. But yes, it is my doing. Why turn people into gold? Where did these golden bows come from? What do you consider a sin? I mean, this one so far seems like information, nothing about the debating if to abolish it or not. So we're gonna go through all of them, I guess. That is a story dating back to the very first wave. After the Sumerians finished building their city, the self-declared ruler threw a banquet to celebrate. Now this man was unmarried, and many women were vying to become his wife, a prestigious position of power and influence in a new world. Of all the women, two were particularly ambitious. Both were beautiful, and both arrived at the banquet wearing eye-catching dresses and painted faces, their hair woven in elaborate fashion. The first woman, recognizing that she would require an advantage to win the ruler's affection, draped herself in jewelry, ornate necklaces, bracelets and rings fashioned from gold. Seeing this ostentatious display, the second woman grew envious, for she had no such oh, jewelry shit. at her disposal. She prayed aloud to any gods that would listen to cover her in gold, and when her prayer went unanswered, she took matters into her own hands. While the others indulged at the banquet, the second woman summoned the first for a discussion in a quiet place. She checked that nobody was watching and pushed her rival from the top of the ziggurat Holy when she broke her neck on the rocks below. But I was watching, and I decided to answer her prayer. I took the golden bow left behind by Diana, and I shot that woman in the heart, covering her from head to toe in a layer of molten gold. Mm. And I left her to stand there, that she might serve as a grim reminder of what befalls those who sin in my domain. I see. But that was not enough, for the entire city was tainted by her sin, and the wager could no longer be won. So I had no choice but to wipe the slate clean. I gilded them all to make way for a new wave, and began the wager again. I see. And to this day, each of them, and all who came after, lined the halls of this city, inanimate but conscious. Suspended in time with only their sight and hearing preserved, so they may bear witness to and lament the folly of your kind for eternity. A silent golden center. Holy shit, that's brutal. That is brutal. So, uh, the, the many shall pay for the sins of the one, right? Just because that lady wanted to become the wife of that guy. Now, all the citizens, all the golden uh, statues or people we saw <laughs> had to pay for that shit. Wow. Nice ruler, bro. Nice, uh, nice, uh, uh judging, I guess, or morality, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So you're responsible for destroying all these lives. Right, let's go for the golden bows. When my kin departed, because it's, it's the, that many relics which I inherited, a consolation prize of sorts. The golden bow originally belonged to one of my kin, who the Romans called Diana. As my collection of golden statues grew, I chose the most ferocious among them. And equipped them each with a duplicate of her bow and tasked them with hunting down the forsaken at my behest. They became known simply as Furies. Mm -hmm. Okay, two things. I wonder if this whole story about the woman being the jealous and stuff is that based on a real story? I'm not sure, maybe that's a, like a tale or something. Or like a, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, this option seems like we're gonna already start discussing uh, the abolition of the golden rule so before i got into this i want to get into other stuff what do you consider a sin i've always considered that the cornerstone of morality 
is the ability to determine right from wrong on one's own. On one's no own? No attempt to lay out rules like your Code of Hammurabi or your Twelve Tables of the Roman Republic can ever cover all possible scenarios. This should come as no surprise to you, since the core principle has been expressed in many forms by many of your yeah. civilizations. The Egyptians made a rudimentary attempt with do to the doer to make him do. The Greeks refined it with avoid doing what you would blame others for doing. The Roman Stoics added, treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. Even the so-called cultists hiding among you often say, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. It is the simplest of concepts, and each one of you is born with the faculties required to apply it to any situation. Yet none of the peoples who expressed this rule were able to uphold it. Mm. Curious, is it not? True. Okay. Now, I, yeah, we're getting here into serious matter. Uh, that principle is not as easy to apply as it sounds. It doesn't seem like you have been upholding it either. Oh, I have always lived my life that way. Lie. <laughs> um. Okay, this seems like a kind of like a rational and a easy way, and this seems like confronting. Now I'm not sure. How should I go? I'm not sure how should I go about this. Doesn't seem like you've been upholding it here. So, in which way can we accuse him of this? He's he hasn't been doing to others what he wish others will do to him, right? Uh, maybe it's towards his wife or Karen or because he has to be one of his kind, right? cannot be to humans because he consider he considers us like less i guess so it, that doesn't apply but hmm, something tells me persephone is gonna hold our back here but let's go with this maybe and then we can choose this i hope <laughs> for you perhaps okay we can still talk him Okay, we have a new option, by the way. I have seen terrible things here that you didn't consider as sin. How could you let that happen? Hmm. Um, how do you know when people sin? I am able to commune with all of the statues in the city. Their ears are my ears, and their eyes are my eyes. So, is if there is no statues, he cannot know what's happening. That's why the philosopher on the underground, he couldn't, he stayed there, right? Yeah, is Prosepina connected to the statues in some way? Don't tell that, bro. Why are you? You're just blowing away her cover, bro. This is a bad option. I have no other option. If she was still conscious, I suppose she could, but she's not. Why do you ask? Oh, yeah, exactly, bro. Why are you saying that? Then what an odd question. Yes. Shut up. <laughs> you're, you're blowing her cover. Um, okay, I'm gonna go for this. Do you plan to speak in sweeping generalizations? Or okay. are you going to give me an example? Uh, yeah. Suicide didn't break the golden rule. Uh, a scam. Yeah, when I scammed uh, the guy with the bow, he paid me 5,000. Debt bondage. What does that mean? Um,. Uh, Dead bondage. As in, like, Ulpius being a slave and stuff, and Julia. Two Malelos. Yeah. Uh, experiments on the golden statues, as you seen with Naevias, was uh, removing the gold from the guys. Abduction. What does he mean, abduction? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Sentius with the, her daughter? His daughter? Like, Centilla, right? Um, no, let's go for abduction. Abduction? You mean the magistrate yep. imprisoning his daughter in the system, I take it? Yes. He did so because she sought to escape. A sin I take particularly seriously. Yeah, but does the, does Better the... that he stops her from escaping, albeit brutishly, 
then I have to wipe out this entire city to punish her. So, wouldn't you agree? I disagree. Yeah, uh, this is the whole uh, the end justified the methods or the way, right? Uh, that is the Machiavelli's uh, thingy. Well, let me let me look for it. Let me actually look for that. Um. The end justified the means. Okay, that's why. Okay. I disagree. Hmm. Supposing you are right, and my law has been broken, and I should turn you all to gold immediately. Is no, that that's true? exactly why the law is. That's why the law is flawed, because sentence doing the abduction should not condemn everyone. I guess. Um. I am right, and you know it. That sounds so childish. I'm right. So maybe we back up a little bit. Yeah, because if I do this, I may just kill everyone right now. Huh. Now tell me, what other? Hmm. How are you gonna? How are you gonna point out the the golden rule being uh, flawed? Like, what is the best example, right? Uh, to be honest... Like, the whole scam we did to Decius, it seems like the minor evil, but it seems so like... Oh! I tell you where the bow is, or I tell him, no, fuck you, I don't care. And <laughs> just because saying that, that breaks the rule. Like, what? <laughs> it's so stupid. That's, but I want to go through all the dialogues, like, I want to know what he thinks, how he justifies the golden rule uh, from all these events. So let's go from the experiments on, on the golden statues. The midwife in the palace, mm -hmm. yes. How is that inconsistent with the rule? She wouldn't want to be experimented upon if she was gilded. Ha! Huh. The rule is do unto others, meaning other people. Those statues are something else now. Bloodless shadows, mere shapes of their former selves. They are forsaken. What happens to them is no concern of mine. To be honest, I agree. But there were people before, I don't know. It seems like an extremely literal interpretation of their rule. Now tell me, what other that bondage? You speak of the money lender. How is that inconsistent with the rule? He wouldn't want to be trapped in a thirty-year labor contract because of a loan, and he would never have signed a contract pledging his labor for thirty years. All he did was enforce the terms of a contract signed voluntarily by others. Um. He's right. The golden rule is right. Obey it. Nah, I'm okay. Okay, so uh, let's see. The whole concept of debt bondage, like slavery, is unethical. It's illegal under international laws where, I, where I'm from. <laughs> right? So, like, bro, you are just making new laws and blah, 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 right? Um... Yeah, but you see, this is the whole thing. This is like when you go to the bank to to sign the mortgage for 30 years to pay for a house like that shouldn't even happen in the first place <laughs> like, what kind of world we living in if you had to be a slave for 30 years to have a life you know um, <laughs> um yeah but like i will agree with the first sentence the whole concept of a uh, dead bondage is unethical but then the, the second part is so fucking stupid. Like, you could have argued this in a different way. Because if you have a slaves, you can, I don't know, outmaneuver the golden rule in so many ways. He's commanding others to do whatever you want. I don't know. Uh, let's see if we disagree. Let's, let's see what he says. Hmm. 
Supposing you're right. Yeah. Now tell. Let's go with the scam. Ah, the tavern keeper. Yes. How is that inconsistent with the rule? She wouldn't want someone else to sell her hamlock if she thought she was buying a means to escape. Ah? Huh? Julia? I disagree. Having watched that tavern keeper, that is precisely what she would expect from others. She would view it as a game, one she intends to win. You can't know what she will expect. You're just speculating. Applying this rule always requires speculation to some degree. It requires us to ask what another person would want if they found themselves in another situation. Well, that can be... Yeah, doesn't that make it inherently subjective, un unreliable? Exactly. It requires us to ask what another person would want. Like, you can be so delusional about that and think so many different things. Not if we're wise enough to know the mind of man. Uh, and you think you know the minds of other people? Hmm. Supposing you are right, no, 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 not true. And I not true. Turn you all to gold he's he's uh, turning this uh, the other way around. No, 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 you're not the. Uh, that's not cool, bro. Huh. Yeah, suicide. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, it's no wonder people say the gods are cruel. This just shows how unreliable and subjective your moral code is. You are no better at judging right from wrong than any human. Oh, shit! Do you honestly think you could do better? Uh, yes. <laughs> no, but that's my point. Nobody's grasp of right and wrong is so perfect. They can be trusted with all this power. You have become a tyrant. Oh, shit! And if I say yes, do I become a god myself? Or is this gonna fucking... Decapitate me or something. It's like, like, you are a delusional human. You are not a god. Boom, dead. I'm Kratos. Okay, so let's go uh, with this. I think this is more the more the most rational. I'm just uh, destroying this guy uh, with argues with arguments. You know. I should strike you down. For that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if you did, you would prove my point. Enough talk. I'm going to end this and <laughs> throw the golden ball. Enough talk. I'm going to end this. <laughs> throw the golden ball. <laughs> Wait, I don't know what to do. But he said I should strike you down for that, which makes me think he's not gonna do it. Like I should do it, but I'm not going to. Otherwise, it, it, it will just done it, right? Uh, so can I even like turn this guy into gold and free Persephone, bro? Uh, this is this is a true decision, guys. This is the most important decision of this game. Um, I don't know. I, I guess if I whatever I choose, I want to somehow load the save file and come back to this and choose to shoot him. This time I'm gonna choose non-violence. Okay, peace. Huh. Now, did you have any other questions? I give your kind a second chance in life, as well as ample warning about my law. And when you disobey, and you always disobey, you force my hand, bringing terrible suffering upon yourselves. And so you ask if I am the one destroying your lives. And I say, no, you destroy yourselves. I am merely the means by which you do it. Ah. Is there anything else we can talk about outside these... Uh... This, uh, I thought I thought this was the main menu for the options. Very well. Oh, yeah, they were. Uh, that is merely the. Yeah. What if I do the violent option? Or right, I I can just literally say I have no more questions. Bye. You know. Very well. So let's let's do that. Um. Then. Yeah. I want to see what happens. Good. Then now it is time for your reckoning. Only, it seems, something is wrong. Hmm? It has long been within my power to see into the hearts of mortals and weigh their deeds in life. But, when I peer into you, I see only a black slate. As if you did not exist until you appeared in this city. How is this Because possible? Persephone helped me Carol, to reset the loot. where did you find this one? 
I do not remember ferrying you. How did you come here? I'm from the future. Maybe you're getting forgetful in your old age. I'm from the future. If that is true, then I sense the intervention of someone powerful. How did you come to be in this time, mortal? Who brought your wife? I don't know. <laughs> Pro. I wonder what happened now if I choose to draw my bow, he will just kill me instantly, probably. Um, so maybe this is actually the, the true... I don't know, there's so many there's so many choices. So I can literally blow her cover. Is she's telling me to not tell him. I mean, she helped me after all, to be honest, to do this whole loop. She's the one who brought me here in the first place. And she's the one who protect me from being judged by him, I guess? Because he cannot read my past. I was hoping you would tell me. I do not know. My kin departed long ago, and Proserpina has slumbered for 3,000 years. Shouldn't you know this as the god of the underworld? I guess that means you don't know everything that goes on here. Tread lightly, mortal. Enough of this. It seems I will need to put your reckoning on hold for now. Okay. But answer this. Why have you come here? What is it you seek? I will like you to put an end to the golden rule. There it goes. I just want to get out of here. I mean, this will just get at all the ass. I'm here to kill you. I mean, he's not a god. Like, I can kill him with a bow, probably. Like a normal one, yes. But it will be just... Uh, Funny to cover him in gold. The only problem with that is hmm, he may still have powers. I don't know. But with the gold, the good and bow, he will just die. You know, like like a living organism. Um, let's go with the uh, put an end to the golden rule. <laughs> your hubris is amusing, so I will allow you to make your case. Warn you. If you anger me or waste my time with lies or wrong-headed arguments, you face death here. So, tell me, why should I put an end to the so-called golden rule? So far, I think I made it well. I am going the right way. Okay. If you are doing this for love, you should know that Persepira doesn't love you. Oh, shit. How can you expect us to live without sin, if you can do it yourself? The golden rule is corrupting this city, and ensuring you'll never go in the wager. Oh shit. I love- I like- I like all of these options. Oh my god. Okay, so I cannot anger him, or waste his time. So if I say this, he's gonna get angry for sure. This one too, right? This one seems the most peaceful, the more like, bro, if you don't remove this rule, and is, is, this is the reason people are getting so paranoid and they're, you're pushing them to the edge, you know? That's why the, you're never gonna do it this way. You need to... First, it's like freedom, kind of. You can never be free if you're setting at first any rules, right? So, um, let's, let's go with this one. How so? And be specific. You have made a grave allegation, and I expect you to back it up. Okay. Rufus has become so paranoid that he's jumping at shadows, like Virgil sexuality. Nah. Aurelia is exploiting people's desperation to escape by se selling them hell luck. Interesting. Maleolus has trapped people in debt bondage by con convincing them that rebelling will break your law. Oh shit. Uh, I like 213. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with. But uh, selling them Helmlock. But this is suicide, I guess. So this is not considered uh, breaking the golden rule. And this one either. Hmm. 
don't know. I don't know. I don't know which one is it. Uh, His cruelty does seem to grow greater by the day. Okay. I admit, I have grown disturbed watching him. Mm -hmm. He is a volatile and confused fellow, that one. That's all the examples I can think of. Oof, I'm not sure if that's enough. Pathetic. Oh, yeah. You will need to do a lot better than that. Oh, my God. Uh... <laughs> okay. This is so much pressure. <laughs> How can you expect this to live without saying if you can do it yourself? That is a very serious accusation, mortal. What sin have I committed? What evidence do you have? To Honestly, I don't know. I just... Didn't you abduct Prosepina and imprison her here? Oh, shit. You have trapped people in this city against their will. Uh, kinda? You have given terrible punishment to hundreds of people, some for minor sins and some who committed no sins at all. Bro, this seems so aggressive. Never mind, I would like to change my argument. <laughs> yeah, let's go with this one. These people were all dead when my servant found them. I gave them a second chance at life. Would you prefer to have simply ceased to exist? Uh, wait, wait, wait. So Persephone, first, I'm gonna call her Persephone. Persephone went to the to the world, to the human world, right? And uh, Hades wants her back. But this guy is trying to prove that humans cannot sin for a year, right? Um, but he's proving it with like dead people. Does that prove something? Anything? I guess. I guess they're leaf in the animal. They're alive in the animal. Uh, Accordingly, I reject your argument. Sure. He's giving me so many chances, Ojib. <laughs> He's very wise, I must admit. But he has a flaw, for sure. I just need to find it. Uh, let's go with this one, yeah? Every one of those people was guilty of failing to ensure their peers lived virtuously. Wow. They failed collectively, and so they were punished collectively. The Romans understand this, as did the Greeks before them. Oh shit, these are very good points. Where I'm from, this is gonna sound so stupid. Like, even if it's right, even if it's right, you should not say where I'm from because that's like removing your point already. You should just go with collective punishment is one of the most egregious crimes. Yeah, that's it. That's how you say it. Don't say where I'm from is considered. That's so subjective. Go with the universal argument. Uh, okay, let's go with this. Ah, but I am a god, and you are a mortal. Wow. Why would you expect me to treat you as I treat my own kind? You are not a peer. You are not a respect. Get off your horse. Let me ask you this. Do you treat insects as you wish to be treated? Do you care for their well-being as you would your fellow man? Do you ensure they have food and shelter and protection from predators? Do you give them rights? Just lie. <laughs> He's gonna get so mad if I say this. He's gonna instantly decimate me. He's gonna be like... Pfft. Uh... To be honest now, to be honest now. I mean... On our... At least uh, on our times, uh, some animals... Some living things have uh, some kind of protection, laws, regulation. You have like natural parks. We have stuff again, like against climate change, conservation. Uh, yeah, but yeah, they don't. We don't trick them equally for sure. I fucking kill a fucking roach the other day. <laughs> you can say that. I kill a spider. I, I wouldn't kill a human, right? So makes sense. Of course not, because that would be absurd. Just as it would be absurd for me to treat your kind as right. equals. So you just compare me with the insects, as in. What makes your kind superior to mine? Oh, shoot. Your kind and mine can be so different. 
given that you are in love with one of us. Oh, boom. Where to begin? Our lifespans exceed yours by thousands of years. Okay. In which time we accumulate vast wisdom and a mastery okay. of technology you cannot begin to imagine. Why does wisdom and technology make you superior? Lifespan? So you are not immortal? Uh, I want to know both. But I'm more curious about this one. Like This one is more story focus, I guess. And this one is more like curiosity. So I'm not sure if I can shoot both, both or just one of them. But if I had to choose only one, uh, I'm gonna go with this. Because that is the source of our power over you. Mm. So you think you are not obligated, obliged to treat us fairly because you are more powerful than us? What? <laughs> you could say that. I can think of a good counter argument. What was it Roman Stoic said? Treat your inferiors as you will wish your superiors to treat you. Oh shoot! My kin have no superiors. Come back. But didn't you say Jupiter was your leader? There's a hierarchy within your kind. Oh fuck! We're getting this guy. <laughs> we're fucking getting this guy. Like, I, I'm glad the game is coming out with these arguments because I could not come with this. Uh, very good uh, debate. That sounds arrogant. Perhaps you're not as different from humans as you think. Hmm. Oh, true. oh, oh. We dig him? We dig him? Make your point, mortal. I'm saying, if you can follow your own rule, how can you expect humans to? Let me ponder that for a moment. If you are right, then it would follow that all this time. I have been in the wrong. Oh, but the ego. No. The very thought of it agrees. The me. ego. How can I accept your argument when doing so would make me a tyrant and a monster? Ah. Is the truth. You're not a monster. You are a human and you made a mistake. Oh shit. Comprehensive. Forgiveness. Wait, is it human though? Or does it come from a different world? I'm not sure if it's like a if it's like a Anunnaki situation, as in like a, a ancient human civilization. I don't think so because he said that they they, they observed the primates, right, the apes, and then they teach us, they give us the tools. So I don't think they're uh, from Earth. Also, uh, they live for thousands of years, and also they just adopting this form. That this the, this is not their true form. They're not humans. Um, you know what? Fuck it. Your hubris grows tiresome. You will make a fine oh, statue. Oh wow! Really? Uh. <laughs> Do you really think you can wound me? A god oh. with that primitive weapon. Oh. You may be immortal, but your beloved isn't. How dare you threaten her? This ends now. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Take Persephone's crown. I'm a god. Wait, did I take it? What do I do now? Wait. Wait, what? No! Rewind time and show Pluto you have Persephone's crown. Oh, so I had to go all the way back with the crown. I'm gonna die now. I think I should be. They missed. Oh, they got me. They got me. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, 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 okay. I see. So next time I come here, I have to be wearing the crown of Persephone. And he's going to be like, what the hell? How did you have that crown? That's so cool. Okay, where am I now? Holy shit. Okay. So, 
Ah, there was there was there were a few more dialogues I wanted to do. Wait, wait. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> um. So all the all, no matter what you choose, no matter what you choose, the 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 it's, the end is always take the bow. To be honest, I want to go through more dialogues. I, I wonder if you can win the argument just by pointing his contradictions. I don't think so, because sooner or later you will need the goddess. You will need goddess power. And he shall suffer so. for the sins of the one. <laughs> Did I take it? Oh shit! Ouch! Uh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh. I'm gonna die. Six sack, six sack, six sack. I'm out this bitch. Oh no, this is gonna be hard though. Yeah. Get to dodge so much shit here. We're doing it. Can I heal? Maybe I should just wait here and heal? Yep, I'm healing a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm good now. Oh my god! That was so cool. To be honest, that, that whole conversation... Oh no, I'm gonna die. Don't shoot me. I want to heal a little bit more. I hear a statue coming though. I'm scared. I need to heal more. I'll leave it to more at least. Okay, we good. I think I can take one more shot. <laughs> Let's go, don't shoot me. Oh my god. Go, 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 go! Okay, we got the crown, right? We got the Persephone's crown, right? So she was being holding that uh, glass thingy for like 3,000 years? Like frozen? So she doesn't age? I see. Inventory. Okay, we have the chrome. Now, what do I do with this? <laughs> um, should I go back to... To Hades? Or should I do something on the Forgotten City? You know, like... I still need to persuade. Oh, I may need to ask the philosopher for help here. Oh, I didn't read that. Okay. Uh, okay. So I need to talk to the, that guy. Let's see. Maybe he helps me with the argumentation. That's very cool. You, Tantalus, cannot catch the drop. We're gonna show him the crown, and we're gonna be like, I talked to him. Oh no, this is not the way. You have... Are you... Ta Oops. Wait. Is, is that considered murder, since I know that was gonna happen? Oh. I got that shit, man. I'm gonna say war. Like, I 
Okay. Let's see. Help me, philosopher. Come and join me by the fire. Welcome, welcome. Uh, we have this conversation before. You are going to explain that the exertion of power required to create utopia will always result in tyranny. Exactly what Hades is doing. Uh, I was indeed, but we've never met before, have we? I'm sure I would have remembered. Blessed Lissa, am I losing my memory? I caught, I'm caught in a time loop. Yep, you just you keep repeating yourself. That's so mean. <laughs> Poor guy. I'm caught in a time loop. Oh, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought it was I who was touched by it. Oh, and, and you totally believe me. How would you persuade the god of the underworld to abolish the golden rule? Help me, you wise man. I assume you're asking me this as some kind of amusing hypothetical. Oh, I just talked to him. I met him, but I wasn't able to persuade him. I'm going to try again. Extraordinary. Then let me see if I can help you. Okay. I suppose first I'd want to gather information. I'd want to know about his reasons for imposing the golden rule and what he considers a sin. If I could expose some internal inconsistency in his reasoning, some degree of hypocrisy, I might be able to compel him to change his position. That's but what I was trying to as do. As a philosopher, the saddest truth I ever learned is that all but the most enlightened mm. opponents are more easily swayed by appeals to emotion than by reason. So the easiest path would be to find his emotional susceptibility and explain. Ah, really? If he was vain, I might try to flatter him. If he was merciful, I would try to evoke pity. As a last resort, I might figure out what he fears losing above all else, and mm. if I could, threaten to take it away. Though, of course, that could easily go awry. Yeah. Now, go quickly while my words are still... So I need to... Uh, I need to... Uh, what's the word? I don't know the word. It's like I need to refer to Persephone. I was trying to reason. But I guess not. I guess I had to go for the emotional approach. Emotional damage approach. We're gonna get it. Okay. Emotional damage. That's cool. I love how even you reached the end and you had to even do another loop. Uh to gather even more information to talk to him again in, this, in a different time loop. Persephone, thank you. I wonder why she took this long to do this thing. You know what I mean? Like, what did it take her 2000 years to... And me specifically to... To finally confront the... I mean, I guess she tried before with all these people, but since I'm from like a modern society or something, uh, I'll think differently. Oh, just show me which one is it. Oh. Or maybe I just did it first try and that's why it's, it's saved like that. Okay, round two. I'm not wearing the crown. <laughs> now, there's a few other dialogues I wanted to, to go through, but I guess I couldn't. And here you are. He remembers? Allow me to introduce myself. As you have already got no go to the other and I've been, and what is the oh, I don't think he remembers. As a See this? It's Prosepius crown, bro. Okay, uh, I want to go th through all. What other dialogues do we have? Uh, we we were talking about how he's flawed and how he could treat not, uh, but he, the hierarchy of his kind, and then uh, how the golden rule was unfair. What else? What else? 
He was being like a tyrant. He even recognized if that was true, he would be doing evil. Right? And he could not uh, admit that. Um, he was too egomaniac, I guess. Um, yeah, and then he got mad, and then. Yeah. And then we were trying to be like, nah, you just. You're just making the mistakes. Uh, if you abolish the golden rule, that will happen, right? Hmm. Yeah. Fuck it. Uh, I, I would recognize that anywhere. And yet my beloved still wears hers. What is this? How did you come by it? I took it from her after I killed her in another timeline. You. Worse still, boast about it. I didn't want to kill her, but if you don't put the, an end to the golden rule, I will do it again. I could do this all day and the golden rule, or I will. Oh shit, we, get, we got him by the balls. You know, fuck it. You, you have put me in an impossible position. If I refuse, you will murder her and yet if i agree i will lose my wager mm -hmm. and return to elysium humiliated and alone that's the idea perhaps you are cleverer than you appear mortal i do not see that i have a choice in this your treachery and savagery have opened my eyes like nothing i have witnessed <laughs> in three thousand years and now you have shown me your species true colors and i see that persephone was a fool to nah she was right she was right this has gone on too long it is time for me to let go of this form oh shit of, of all of you intimidate the creator of the golden rule if i abandon the way and leave for elysium neither she nor your kind may ever ascend it's fine we can stay on earth we can just return to the world. Hmm. Very well. I will have Carol make arrangements to ferry the others. Nice. But as for you, the why? Why? You will be separated from the rest. Don't make me kill her again. Enough, foul creature. This is not something I have decided. You see, once this exodus begins, the events that brought you to this mm. world will never have taken place. And you would have created a paradox. What will become of you is difficult to predict, but that is the risk you have taken by interfering in the natural flow of time. Now, are you sure, ready? Sure, so I'm gonna save everyone but me. Let's get this over with. You would best pray our paths never cross again, mortal. Okay, we did it. So now what? Hey, let's go. Okay. So we are on the temple. This is like the Parthenon, the Pantheon. What is it called? The temple on Athena's, Athena's temple. Hey. Oh. Uh, hi there. Gave me a bit of a fright. Thought I was in here alone. I'm Al. Okay, so Al Worth, I came in here to find you. So I guess he's reading a, a a text where it says everyone was saved from the from the city. Well, here I am. I'm sorry, I didn't catch I your so. name. I'm Achilles. Oh, did that lady in the forest send you in here after me? I guess I lost track of time learning about the history of this place, and it is extraordinary. I'm fairly certain you and I are the first people to set foot in this city for about 2,000 years. <gasps> Fortunately for us, the last person in here was a Roman man named Galerius, huh. who inscribed an account into a tablet. Apparently, there was a community of 20-something people trapped in here and living in fear of a curse they called the Golden Moon. Mm -hmm. They believed that if even one person sinned, an unknown god would cast them all into gold, like the thousand people who'd lived here before them. Then, one day... Just as Galerius had finished praying for a good harvest at the Shrine of Proserpina, an oracle appeared, said barely a word, and entered the temple of the mysterious god. This one here, 
and demanded an audience. And the doors just opened up to him. Nobody knows what went on in there, but Galerius wrote the Oracle must have been more persuasive than Odysseus, because the next thing he knew, the ground shook and the voice of that god rang out over the city. The many have suffered long enough. Oh. Unfortunately, Galerius' account just sort of stops after that, leaving a lot of mm. questions unanswered. What became of him and the other people who lived here? What happened to all the golden statues? And did this mysterious oracle single-handedly undo the curse that had terrorized people for hundreds of years? Holy shit. These romans are crazy. <laughs> Sounds a bit far-fetched. Actually, that was me. Uh, what? Oh, I see. For a moment there, I thought you were serious. Anyway, I think I found a way out through the aqueduct that brought water into the city. Follow me. I'm right behind you. Nice. Saved. Now, this current is going to remember our encounter. Or was this all a trip? Like the whole thing I'm talking about. Like everything. Literally everything. Like even everything. Okay, guys. We just had that trip with the gods, Hades, Chiron, everything that happened until now. Let me pause here for a moment and make sure nobody else. You go on ahead. You know what I mean? You go on. Let's see what happens. I'm curious. But yeah, we we can say we completed the game. I'm guessing this is the true ending. I hope. I'm not sure. I want to talk to Persephone though. Hmm. You're back. But you're alone. Does that mean you didn't find Al? I found him. He'll be here in a moment. Oh, what a relief. Thank you so much. I was beginning to think you'd both become trapped in there. Why don't you tell me what you discovered while we wait? I like how her name was Karen and now it's Karen. <laughs> Uh, should I go again with uh, talking to the real one or just eh. maybe we have a new dialogue inside the new dialogue who knows ah I see I thought you might let's see well, if we have more questions you know. than the previous time we talked I suppose you have questions you can just call me Charon. I do not enjoy deceiving people. That most people find comfort in familiarity. That you died, my role, as the servant of the god of the underworld. Hmm. A what? Yeah, uh, what's his name? Well, a lot my... That is a question. I am just his servant, only now. There is nobody else to ferry here. Wait, what? I see no point in keeping you here. But I have to ask one thing. That you keep this. Wait, we didn't get the true ending? Look, here comes Al now. Al, it's so good to see you. Mm. you because were we so did abolish. Kind of lost track. It told the rule and we did save everyone. I think we're going to get the, the other ending. Long forgotten city. And there was a tablet describing it's just, it's just this final dialogue is just the same one as the sounds like quite a story and i look forward to hearing all about it but you two look exhausted sounds good to me and you are you ready to go home all right all right so so at the end i'm alive what i thought uh i don't get it okay so oh one year later Oh shit, there's a museum. Okay, so I guess I saved everyone in the past. That made me go back in my time and then I saved myself in the present. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I see. Bro, this is making me want to go to a museum. It's so fascinating learning about the past civilizations. It's just humans who lived before us, right? It's just fellow different cultures, different periods. 
politics. So crazy, right? <gasps> hey, you made it. It's great to see you again. I read your book, and what the critics said about it. I guess they weren't ready for your theories about the underworld. Anyway, after everything you've been through, I thought you might appreciate some good news. Okay. So after we got back to the real world, I started doing some research into the people mentioned in Galerius's tablet. Mm -hmm. And I found something strange. I'm sorry I've been so cryptic. I've been dying to tell you. I just really wanted you to see this for yourself. Okay, what is Why it? Why don't you head on down there? I'll catch up with you at the other end. Oh, shit. Big reveal. I love, I love how this game ties up uh, the different cultures, how they copy each other, kind of, and they make it a, their own story with the gods and everything. It's so cool, right? I love that. It's the biggest uh, strength of this game, for sure. It's so well uh, linked. <gasps> What? You're finally here. The hell? Remember me? What are you doing here? It's a crazy story. After you disappeared, Karen appeared and told us she was returning us to the world. Even gave us some coins to help us start our lives over. Only, for some reason, she oh. returned us to your Everyone world. Everyone is here. Oh, anyway, shit. I know we only ever had that one conversation, and I wasn't even sure if you'd remember me, but I wanted to say thanks for freeing us from the underworld and giving us a second chance. At life let's go everyone is here are you with a creature now i know i can't believe my luck either but we're engaged and living together yeah. we're planning to get married next spring if you're gonna be around we'd love to see you there i love that come in nice It was uh, good to see you again, Galerius. Of course. There's a whole museum full of people waiting for a chance this to thank you. So you better keep moving. We'll speak again soon, my friend. I'm really glad I got to... I got to continue. Even if I got the second ending and the first ending, I'm really glad I went to do this all this to save everyone. Just because of this moment. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's you. Oh my god. There he is. You're here. It's lovely to finally meet you. Galerius told me all about you. Good to see you too, Equitia. So, you're the hero who somehow vanquished the last of the Roman gods. As I'm a priestess, you realize you've put me out of work. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Actually, and it still feels a little sacrilegious to say this, I'm finding life after religion quite enjoyable. There you go. How's Livia? Oh, it's sweet of you to ask. She recovered nicely. In fact, she's here somewhere. If you'd like to ask her yourself. Okay. I'll do that. Thanks. It's good to see you again. See you at the wedding, I hope. Sure. <laughs> hey. Evening. Oh, shit. Horatius is adapted to the new era. Sentia. Roman shield. Nice. Hi there, I'm Horatius. Oh shit. I understand we have you to thank for giving us a second chance at life. And reuniting Santilla with us as well. So thank you. This is crazy. I'm sorry you never got to see your girl again. What are you to provide Demetrius? Um Ah, oh, you remembered that. Thank you. I grieved for a time, but that's done. In the words of Epictetus, as those who rode behind triumphant generals remind them they are mortal, remind yourself your precious one isn't one of your possessions, but something given for now, not forever. Beautiful. I'm glad you're coping. Well said. Thanks. Oh, it was good to see you again. And you. Farewell. Nice. Santia, you're a total bitch, but I get you. I take it you're the Oracle. Thanks for coming. Good to see you again. Actually, I changed my name to Cynthia. I didn't ah. want to be associated with Sentius after what happened. I'm not sure if you heard, but after you drove Pluto off, Proserpina emerged from the <gasps> temple. 
She knew right away what none of us had figured out about that psychopath. He'd been keeping my little sister locked up in the upper cistern mm -hmm. all that time. But he's been dealt with. He's... Uh, you know what? What the happened to Sentius? We'll never see him again. What happened to Sentius? He's still there, all alone. What? The last golden statue in the underworld. Trapped in a metal shell, wow. slowly losing his mind until the end of time. Was it really that bad? Eternal torment. Just what he deserves, if you ask me. Oh, that seems a bit excessive. Meh. I try not to think about him at <laughs> wow. all. Wow. You too. See you around. Okay. I mean, I get why he was like all ruler and respect the golden rule. Uh, he was like the the making of Hades in Earth, I guess, like the, the, okay, we need to do this, guys, because if not, yeah, but then the whole kidnapping Centilla, I guess it was for the purpose of no one breaking the rule, but yeah. Hi there. Hey, Lucretia, what's up? You are here. It's nice to finally meet you. Lucy is fine. Lucy. I'm making an effort to blend in, as you can see. We are all trying to keep a low profile. If the world knew we died 2,000 years ago and were suddenly brought back to life 12 months ago, they'd never leave us alone. I Speaking see. of which, I wanted to say thank you in person. I'd say the gods smile on you, but I hear you drove the last of them off. <laughs> so... Okay, imagine this happening in real life, right? Imagine just being teleported 2,000 years to the future. <laughs> you, you will be so lost in this society, right? Like the manners, the laws, the, the way of living. I don't know, it'll be so weird. I guess they speak English, but yeah. Uh, what is Julia? Oh, ah, uh, she uh, didn't make it. She died from poison while you were in what? the What? Didn't it save her? It was very sad. She was a good woman and a friend. Wait, what? It wasn't your fault. Decius is to blame. He's here somewhere too. Not that Decius. anyone would talk to him. I'm not even sure how he got invited. You too. Wait, didn't I save? Uh, didn't I save Julia with the giving? Didn't I do everything on the last loop? Because if that's not the case, maybe I know I don't hey. get the true good ending. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not sure. But she said it was Decius who killed her. What? Hey! Magnificent museum, is it not? Greetings. You must be the legendary oracle. It is a sincere privilege to finally make your acquaintance. I am Georgius. Good to see you too. I am told we have you to thank for freeing us from Hades. And for that, I am most grateful. Uh, whatever happened to Fabia? Oh, did she die though? Whoops. Ah, uh, the poor sweet Oh thing my fucking god, I fucked up. Before yeah. the rest of us were saved. It is the one regret oh, I have in all this. Because I talked to the philosopher. And then I, oh my god. My friend, there is no need for you I to apologize. I fucked up, guys. You have done I didn't more than enough. do it on the last loop. You too, my Oops. friend. Oops. Oops. Greetings. And here you are. It's wonderful to see you again. Oh, and by the way, I go by Philip, Philip now. A fine Greek name. I never thought I'd leave that cave, let alone the city. And now I'm living in the 21st century. What a time to be alive. And it seems I have your Katabasis to thank for it. Do you still think Utopia is out of reach? Aha, you remember that. I have to admit, I have been profoundly impressed by the advances humans have made these past two millennia. Mm -hmm. The sum total of human knowledge available at our fingertips, miraculous modern medicines, and a series of prosperous democracies. Bro. Your contemporaries have come further toward Utopia than I ever thought possible, though there's still a way to go. Mm -hmm. We'll get there one day. 
I hope so. It's good nice to see you again. Once again. Philip. That's cool. Bro, I wish I will save everyone. God damn. Some soiree, innit? This one. Oh, hello at last. You must be the oracle I've heard so much about. I'm Dacius. Listen, I wanted to express my sincere appreciation for what you did. If it wasn't for you, I'd never been able to sell all those useless old relics I accumulated. Whatever you did in that temple made me a very wealthy man. Thank you. <laughs> it was entirely unintended. Such a serbic wit. I love it. To... Oh, yeah. oh, wait, before you go, I need to ask you something. See, I took the money I made from selling my trinkets and started investing in the stock market. That's where the real money is now. <laughs> I can... In fact, I was open to ask your advice. You being the oracle wow, of the future and all that. On which stocks I should invest in next? Fuck off. I can't decide between fossil fuels, tobacco, gambling and arms. What would you recommend? I wouldn't help you even if I call. I can't really see the future, I'm afraid. Oh, don't be like that. You can tell your old pal Dacius. I won't take no for an answer. Uh, DVD rentals. <laughs> Broadcast television is going to be the next week. <laughs> Print media. He's <laughs> just naming all the obsolete, the dec declining shit. Oh, that's so fine. He's going to make a huge comeback. <laughs> TV rentals. Oh, of course. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. I'll go home and buy up as much stock as I can tonight. I'm gonna make a bloody fortune. <laughs> Holy shit. Of course. Don't let me keep. Good evening. Uh, Hello Octavia. there. Well, Christians are accepted in today's society, so you're welcome. Oh, hello. It's lovely to meet you. I've heard so much about you. Nice to see you too, Octavia. I'm thankful that you're here. I was sure the person who drove off the last pagan god would have more important things to do than visit the likes of us. But thank you for coming and for saving our lives. What you did was extraordinary, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I'll never forget it. It was good to see you. And you. Oh, and I hope this isn't too forward, but some oh, of us are going oh. out for a drink after this, if you'd... I'm down. ...like to join us. Sounds good. Wonderful. I'll see you soon. Bro, this is making me even more sad that all the people died. Julia, Fabia. Greetings. Good to see you looking well, Livia. Thank you for your kind words and for liberating us all. Hello there. In all the time I was in the underworld, I never once imagined that I might end up in a place so much like Elysium. Read any good poems lately? Ah, you remember that. I'm a little tired of Ovid. But that's all yep, right. Yep. I have 2,000 years worth of poetry to catch up exactly. on now. I'm already up to the 19th century and am quite hey. enjoying the work of a fellow named Poe. I think I may have found a kindred spirit. Edgar. Men have called me mad. But the question is not yet settled whether madness is or is not the loftiest intelligence. Mm -hmm. Well said. Perhaps you're right. And you. Farewell, friend. Okay. Man. I feel like I should... <laughs> I feel like I should redo this and save everyone. Because the last time, Loop, where I talked to the philosopher, I didn't save everyone. Why? Kabash. What is up? It is an honor to finally meet you, Oracle. You know my name. Oh, of course. You are an orator. Huh. You know many things. I too would like to offer my thanks for releasing us from that place and for your role in bringing us here. This world is truly wondrous. Yep. What are you doing with yourself these days? For a time, I returned to Alexandria, but they have no need of another fisherman. <laughs> and I came to see 
there is nothing for me there. Instead, I have decided to follow the custom of your youths and backpack the world. Mm. It is a great adventure, and I have met many people from many cultures. I, see. I spent the first 25 years of my life avoiding the 42 sins that would deny me access to the afterlife. Oh, now, shit. I think it is time I had some fun. Hey. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Oracle. Hey, see you. Dentila. Hello there. Oh, I go by Gabriella now. <laughs> I didn't want to be reminded of that monster every time I heard my own name. Makes sense. After you drove Pluto off, Proserpina came and released me. And that monster got what was coming to him. Uh, sounds like he got what he deserved. I'm sorry, I had no idea. He's gonna, she's gonna be like, I'm not sorry, fuck him. Don't worry. Nobody <laughs> did. Uh, wanna marry me, Gabriella? I'm living by myself on a little vineyard in Umbria. Ooh. It's something Olpius and I used oh, to talk no, about. Oh, never mind. She, had, got she, out. Has, she was in love and with I thought that's Olpius. what he would have wanted. <laughs> oh, he died. He suicide. I'm so sorry. Do you want to marry me instead? <laughs> And it's just not the same without him. Mostly, it just reminds me he's That's gone. why I didn't save him. Oh, it's hardly your fault. I mean, it's I actually my right fault. In time. Thanks. Okay. You too. That's one person I'm glad to not save. No, I'm just joking. Hello. <laughs> it's so nice to finally meet you. Good to see you, Virgil. I wanted to thank you personally for getting us out of there. So Rufius is also dead. He died from rheumatism, I guess. I don't know. Oh my god. Yeah, good to see you, bro. You too. If yeah. you're ever in the Netherlands, I'd be happy to show you around. Hey. It's the least I could do. Sure. I may just take up you on that. Thanks. Okay, party time. Uh what is up? Got the evening. Beautiful, beautiful exposition. I didn't expect it for the end game, but to be honest, it's a perfect idea. Oh look, all the collectibles we found maybe. That is so cool. Now on the corridor of a Sumerian, they should have put this this figure on the walls. Huh? Anyone else? Al? There you are. I hope you enjoyed that. Now there's one more person I wanted to introduce you to. I think you know her. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Sorry if I frightened you. Oh. Just a little joke I've been saving for a long, long time. Wait. Wait. Wait! Don't tell me. She wasn't... Oh my god! <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself properly. I see. I am Proserpina. Yeah. Former goddess of the cycle of life and renewal, and now I see. a regular mortal. I wanted to meet you in person, and thank you for freeing all these people and me. I hate to think what would have happened to us without your intervention. Wait, 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 wait. She is the lady on the tavern, right? I forgot her name. But she's the one. So all this time she was there. So Persephone was on the on the Forgotten City. As the bartender. Okay. <laughs> I think she's the one, right? Yeah. You were whispering to me all along. Indeed. Suffice it to say that while Pluto was controlling the eyes and ears of each golden statue, I was able to control their tongues and whisper to you when he was distracted. I am sorry my messages were so cryptic. There were only ever 
brief windows in which I could speak to you without being detected. Mm. Fair enough. Uh, you did what you could, thank you. You created the time loop? I did. I may have given up my immortality, but I still retain my gifts as the goddess of a cycle of life and renewal. After witnessing Pluto punish countless poor souls over thousands of years, I knew this generation, the mm. final wave, would not survive. Yeah. So I tried to give them a way to buy more time. A second chance. Rather as many second chances as they needed to avoid his wrath. See. What became of Pluto? I don't know what happened to him. I haven't heard from him. And I rather hope it stays that way. So, let me get this straight. Pluto, I read this goddess, fell in love with a human? I think she was a goddess, right? And then... She wanted to be on Earth, and that's why she became mortal. So, he wanted to recover her, and that's why it all happened. With the Forgotten City and everything. But she never loved him, so it was like a one-way thing. It was like, only him loved her. I see. So she was like, I hey. became a Karen. Oh, she inherited dominion over the underworld. Oh. Last time we spoke, she was working on a new world of some kind. Hmm. She wouldn't say what it was. But I'd be surprised if you don't run into her again. I imagine we all will. One day. I see. Nice to meet you. And you. Although it feels like I've known you forever. True. Oh, and one last thing. Do you remember all those golden statues mm -hmm. scattered throughout the city? Of course. Good. Because they remember you. Oh. Well done, my friend. Of all the heroes who ever turned to Save the them world all. in return, none came close to achieving it. I mean, I miss... Hercules, Orpheus, Theseus, and Aeneas would be proud. <laughs> and then me on the middle of fucking giga chat with clothes. Rich ending 4 out of 4. Yeah. So uh, I'm guessing this is a true good ending. Even if I didn't say ever everyone, but most, right? Most people. Yeah. There you go, guys. That is the true ending of the game. Now. Yeah, even if you save the Ulpius, Julia, whatever, Fabia, uh, they will just be there at the museum and you will have like a talk with them, like I had with the rest. Eh, that much. Just a message from the developers. We hope you enjoy Forgotten City. We hope you recommend Forgotten City. Okay. Uh, okay, I can recommend your game. Sure, no problem. YouTube? Okay, modern storytellers. The modern, sorry, the channel, the YouTube channel is called Modern Storyteller. Everything together. Yep. Sure. The very, very talented uh, team. I think, like they said, this game was made by only three people and then uh, the voice actors and everything. But the whole game as it is, uh, yeah. Only those, those three people. Really amazing. I mean, you already had the whole concept from the Skyrim mod, like I mentioned before. But still, a great achievement. Great game. Uh, I love playing this. Love it. Enjoyed it. I usually with this kind of games where it's like a lot of talking dialogues, you get bored. But this one engages you from the beginning. It keeps you hooked. You want to know more. It's a little bit sometimes hard. Uh, it's, it's hard sometimes to keep track of uh, the quests, what to do, blah, blah, blah. I mostly did them all by intuition, just they, they kind of intuitive and you have no troubles doing them kind of. Just investigate, look around, talk to people, uh, try new options, etc, etc. I got stuck a little bit on the Maleolos dropout from the election. And I also got a little bit stuck on the Rufus uh, thingy with Virgil. So those two I had to look up on the internet a little bit at least. But yeah, the rest I just did by myself, fully blind. Uh, it took me around, I don't know, 10 hours, 12 hours to do the whole game. Now, we didn't see the third ending. So I'm going to go to YouTube. Uh, let me see. Let me open the browser, go to YouTube, and search for the Forgotten 
city fur ending, right? Uh, let me see. Um, okay. Um, So this is war record spoilers for Garden City Engine 3 soldier in 7 minutes 36 seconds. So I'm guessing this is some kind of speed run. Yep, okay, let's let's watch this. This video is made by Cicotix. So thank you for recording this so we can watch it. So I guess it's gonna go super fast. So let's try to pay attention to what the ending is about, at least. So, let's see. Oh, it's gonna start the game from the beginning. Holy shit. Uh, let's watch this a little bit uh, with a 125 speed. So, this is starting the game from zero, okay? Well, I not <laughs> Holy shit. Now, when he t he arrives to the close to the ending, I'll try to maybe pause the video and see what's going on because yeah, because all this we already seen by ourselves at the beginning. Oh, he got stuck there. What the hell? Reading this, it means I've discovered the entrance. Yeah, this was really cool. Boom. Entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep underground. Okay, so I'm guessing for the third ending, he's gonna have to do a few quests at least. In a Latin inscription here, it reads, "You who wish to enter the city." To be honest, this whole intro was amazing. I'm really glad I'm rewatching it. Shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain, for this shall be their final resting place. Okay. Could an underground city have remained a secret? For There's all Al time? hanging. The people have survived down there against the odds. It seems there's only one way to find out. The parkour. If I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation or a warning. Yeah. How worth. Uh, I can see on the bottom right there is a. Uh, there are the different. Uh, how you call them? But the now shall suffer you have a pistol? the sins of the one. How the fuck did you get a pistol? <sighs> so he kills someone, runs to What is he doing? No quest though. Let's see, maybe the third ending is more something more like cheesy. I don't know. He's trying to... What is it doing? Okay. He just killed everyone, I guess. Just kill everyone in the city? Is that the ending? Okay, he's going back to the portal. Reset. Yeah. I guess you gather some information by doing that. Okay. Power up. Parkour. Hmm. I just wonder, like, what does the what is the main event that triggers the third ending? Like, that's what I want to see. And then see also what happens at the end. Because, for example, the first ending was just kill Sentius, so you could not do the time paradox. You could not do the time loop. And the second ending was just getting out of the city with Centilla. And everyone dies. Wait, what is this? Okay. So Centilla? Okay. You kill her. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I don't think I ever killed Centilla. Now he's going back to the portal. Uh, 
I still don't get how he got the pistol, but whatever. That's not important, I guess, for the ending. You can do it with the bow too, I guess. With the pistol, it's just better for speed running, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm guessing again, killing Centilla unlocks again. Oh, wait, wait, what did she do, sir? Wait, 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 wait. I want to see that dialogue. Uh, the golden rule is going to be broken soon. I need you to quietly get everyone except Sentius ready to run into the upper cistern when the ground starts to rumble. Okay. I think I had this option once. Yeah, so what you do is gather everyone and escape through the uh, escape with Centilla, I guess, right? I see, I see. That makes sense. I almost got this, actually. Makes sense, makes sense. So you, you gather everyone uh, on the aqueduct so they can all escape. That's cool. Because by the time uh, you break the rule, they are all uh, being shot by the statues, right? So they cannot be saved. But if they're all in the sewers or in the cistern, then they can be saved. I see. You distract him. Stay okay. Here. I told Galerius. I told Galerius to lead everyone here when the golden rule is broken so they can escape too. You distract him. Stay right here and keep him talking while I look for something I can use. Okay. So it's very similar to the second ending, but instead of only saving Sentila, you save everyone. Many shall suffer for the sins of the one. That light, it, it's... Okay. You don't even see them being saved. You just I guess you just imagine them going to the cistern, but yeah. And then when you talk to this guy, you talk to... So I guess Carol now is like, oh, I found... A, or Alworth is like, oh, I found a... I found a text where it says everyone saved by the blah, blah, right? Wait, wait, holy shit. I want to actually... I want to actually know what she says. So this is going to be hard, though. Because he goes so fast. Okay, so well, the city was destroyed when a woman murdered a tyrant with the help of, well, and my new friend here. Maybe not that crazy, that woman, I don't suppose her name was Antilla. And I had to read it. Did I look? And now she reads the Antilla text. Okay. And let's, I want to. S Wait. You don't read it? Okay. So the third ending is just. It's just gathering everyone on the cistern and yeah, saving them that way. That's cool. But the cool thing is with the fourth ending, you save them and they go to the present, right? That's the cool thing. With the third ending, you save them, which is cool, but they're still on their time, right? That's that's cool too. That's cool too. You know? I don't know. Yep. So well, that was it for Grand City. I really enjoyed playing this game. Uh, now, I always try to give a rate for this game. Uh, the story is superb. Uh, the story is superb. There's not much like gameplay or like mechanics, or whatever, right? It's more about the, the whole plot. Um, the music is kind of okay, but it does, it's not like super cool or anything. Uh, it's hard to read this game because that one part is so amazing, right? But then it doesn't have anything else. But there, there are many games that are like that, right? That are just excellent on one aspect. And even if they don't have other aspects, they're still an excellent game, an excellent experience, I will say. And very enjoyable. Especially after having that last talk with Hades, or whatever you want to call him, and uh, seeing everyone on the museum. That was a very sweet ending, to be honest. Um, 
So if I had to, I, at the end of the day, no matter what the game is or what is it about, I have to give the rating. So my rating for the Forgotten City is a uh, hmm. it's very unique experience. You know, like you cannot experience this uh, in almost any other game. And I want to give it a very good rating because of that. But at the same time, I can understand why many people wouldn't like this game. Uh, it's more like a board game, I would say. <laughs> or like a book. This game is literally more like a reading a book, kind of. Yeah. Um, but the visuals are good, though. Um, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I was between 7 and 8. But yeah, I think 8 will be too much. But yeah. Uh, Forgotten City, 7 out of 10. Still, uh, I totally recommend this game. Uh, yeah, it's one of those games that I wish I could forget. Like, uh, just uh, remove from my memory and play again from the beginning because the whole discovery and all the plot twists and everything is amazing. So, yeah, uh, thank you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.